And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kirk Williamson, coming to you from the Tri-Cities Coliseum, where tonight the Tri-City Americans host the Swift Current Broncos, the best team in all of major junior hockey. The Broncos come in tonight with a 40-12 and 12 record. They have been magnificent, but they come off of a loss. Last night in Seattle, Coach Graham James telling us before the game that the Broncos suffered a, a course of the 24-hour flu that sort of got everybody, and they were a little bit uh, on the slow side last night against Seattle. They still uh, only lost 5-4, and that took overtime for the Seattle Thunderbirds to eke out a win over the Swift Current Broncos. What kind of team are the Broncos? Well, the most important thing is they like to open up the game. It's like the Portland Winterhawks, only faster. They make the good passes, they make the cross-ice passes, and they race up and down the ice. If they... Uh, figure they're going to give up 10 goals, that's all right. They'll score 12. They figure you might score 14, that's fine. They'll score 15. That's the way the Swift Current Broncos show up to play, and that's the way it'll probably be tonight in the Tri-Cities Coliseum. We'll have the lineups and the face-off in one minute on this Cable 15 telecast. Oh, say can you 
twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was And the two lineups are on the ice. Here are the starters quickly. At center for the Swift Current Broncos, Kimby Daniels. Left wing, Peter Kuzowski. Right wing, Trevor Sim. The defensemen, Danny Lambert and Kevin Knopp. In goal, Trevor Kruger. For the Tri-City Americans, at center, Stu Barnes, number 14. The left wing, number 18, Sean Lebrun. Right wing, number 25, Troy Kennedy. The defense pair for the Americans, Rob Krause and Dan Shrestenka. In goal tonight is Olaf Kolzig for the Tri-City Americans. This first period face-off sponsored by the Hockey Shop on Welgian Way in Richland. And the starting lineup is now skating into the face-off circle. It'll be Stu Barnes against Kimby Daniels. Daniels, a native of Brandon, 5'10", 170 pounds. Barnes from Spruce Grove, Alberta. Currently listed 20th among uh, it draft eligible players. Face off. One by Daniels. Dump back into the swift current zone. Back to our left. The Broncos in blue and green. And the Broncos misconnect on their first pass. And Rob Krause fires it back out of his own zone. To LeBron. Back into neutral ice where Kevin Kanop has it. Kanop has it knocked down by Barnes. Barnes across the blue line. Wheels back to the right board. Shoots a neat pass left for Shurstenka. But Shurstenka can't get to it. Shot back to neutral ice. Back forward is Kraus as the Swift Current Broncos race in on Rob Kraus. Kraus around behind his own net now. Kraus a draft pick of the Washington Capitals. He starts out up the left wing. Kraus with it right in front of his net being harassed there by Peter Kozowski. Kozowski taking Kraus to the board. Puck comes into neutral into the slot. Loose. Shot once. Rebound. Another shot and they score. That's how quick the Swift Current Broncos can do it to you as Kraus takes his man. Kozowski out of the play doesn't matter the Broncos jump up and bite the Americans right off the bat they were trying to get that breakout play started behind the Americans net and when you make an errant pass against a team that has scored 342 goals all season and score at will basically you make a mistake they'll pick it right up and that's exactly what happened right there and the Swift Current Broncos take an early one to nothing lead over the Tri-City America well Kolsik stopped the first shot but not the second one now it's Kwiatkowski against Sanderson on the faceoff. Jeff Sanderson wins the draw, drops it back to Knight. Knight across the red line, up the left wing, fires it into the Tri-Cities zone, around behind the Tri-City net. Comes out to Kutowitz, past Kutowitz to Knight at the right point. Puck shot down low, there's Duval with it. Duval up the left wing for the Americans. Shoots it out to center for Kwiatkowski. His goes off his stick to Knight. Back to the Swift Current Broncos, stolen away by Kutowitz. Cutter goes left now to Kwiatkowski. Kwiatkowski walking in. Tries to get it down to Delcourt. Can't do it. Delcourt taken down from behind. Delcourt and Devin Dirksen fight for the puck. Delcourt has it against the boards. Jeff Knight on top of him. Knight, big hit. 6'1", 188 out of Stewart Valley, Saskatchewan. And we got a little now, bit of a get together down there. there. Yep. Devin Dirksen. And it looks like uh, Darren Kruger. Well, this crew has those two great big lines with Tony. That's right. 
Another thing, too, is, is that the Swift Current Broncos are not a very physical team. They don't do a lot of penalties. They are more of a freewheeling type of skating club, and they sure do enjoy this big ice. The comments down early when we came into the locker room down there, they are really excited about getting on this big ice. Largest ice that they've played on, I believe, since Brandon. And, you know, I have not heard yet. Here are the uh, penalties. Aaron Kruger, two minutes for roughing. For the Tri-City Americans, it's number nine, Devin Dirksen, also two minutes for roughing at 129. Not heard an announcer yet on the uh, goal. Tony, go ahead and give it to me. Uh, the goal was scored by number 14, Trevor Sim, with an assist by number 19, Kimby Daniels. Face off, swift current circle, left circle. In the swift current zone, Kwiatkowski chops it back toward the net. And there's Sheldon Kennedy racing in behind the swift current net. Comes out to the left wing. Americans with it. Kwiatkowski right in the net. Tries to slide it in. Blocked by uh, coming up. Jeff Knight. Penalty coming. And we have a stoppage in play now. A slashing is the call. And I'll tell you something, Kirk. First thing that the Americans have got to do on this entire team here tonight is not allow the power plays. Just to give you an example on this power plays, and it is against the Tri-City Americans. The Swift Current Broncos, before they made this West Coast tour, they scored 37% of the time. That's nearly four goals out of every 10 opportunities that they had. They are scoring currently right now at about 32% of the time, and they've only scored two power play goals in their last five games. What was the official time of that goal? The official time, I will get that for you, Kurt. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I never did hear an announcement, and I usually go by that. Power play number one for the uh, Swift Current Broncos. Face off, neutral ice, near the Swift Current blue line. Broncos win it. They go right side now to Sheldon Kennedy. He goes left to Lambert. Lambert, bad pass, but McFarland there. Backhands one to Sheldon Kennedy, is slapped away by the Americans. Back into neutral ice. Americans working on their penalty killing here. Rennie chases behind the net with Lambert. Danny Lambert comes up to right side, now heads straight up the slot. Feeds to the right side. Sheldon Kennedy across the red line, firing it in behind the Tri-Cities net. Kolzik stops it, blasts one back out along the board, and it's shot back in by Sheldon Kennedy. Kennedy at the right point. Top of the slot left. Lambert, a drive! And it's blocked off to the right side by Kolzik. Down low they go. In behind the Tri-Cities net. Racing after it is Rennie. Rennie will try to slap it out of there. And now it goes back into neutral ice. Bad pass by Lambert. Sheldon Kennedy gets it by Rennie. Feeds the pass left side now to Tisdale. Tisdale, the leading scorer, goes on the right side. On the right wing to McFarland. McFarland back up front. Sheldon Kennedy goes left to Lambert. Back to Kennedy. Neat pass. Cross ice left to Tisdale. Back up front. Lambert, his shot. Block. He scored. Lambert it was re redirected right in front of Kolzig by the Broncos. That ant takes care of the penalty, and the Broncos go one for one. The uh, goal coming at the 2.53 mark. Kirk, that first goal was scored at the 51 second mark. Does that tell you anything? Swift Current Broncos have now taken a two to nothing lead on the Tri-City Americans. There hasn't even been three minutes played. And Dan Lambert has scored a goal, and he was player of the week for the week of the, uh, January 16th through the 22nd from the Hockey News. And he just showed right there exactly what he can do. Lambert and Tisdale getting assists on the play. And uh, Swift Current leads 2-0. Early going over the Tri-City Americans. Cross ice left. Shurstenka head up the left wing board to LeBrun. Sean LeBrun with it. Americans back to full strength. LeBrun. Right side, Krause. He drives it in right of the net. Lambert goes in after it. Drops it back to Kozowski. Peter Kozowski around behind his own net. Out of Edmonton. Feeds the pass on the right side. Now to Trevor Sim. Sim has it checked away from him by the Americans. They go left to Barnes. Barnes shoots it across the blue line, but there to break it up with the Broncos. Here comes Swift Current. Lambert up the right wing to the blue line. Shoots it in, but it's stolen by Shurstenka. Dan Shurstenka goes left now to Barnes. Barnes for the Americans to the blue line. Goes across right and a whistle as Kennedy was in early, apparently. That's what it is. It's an outside call. And now they'll be letting uh, Darren Kruger back on the ice. And as soon as he clears out of the way, they'll let Dirksen back on. 16.23 to go in the period. Kirk, just to give you an idea on how fast the Swift Current Broncos score, on January 15th, Swift Current broke the 21-year-old record for fastest three goals when Sheldon Kennedy, Kyle Reeves, and Bob Wilkie scored within 16 seconds. Old record, 17 seconds. 
get to looking down this roster. Look at the Edmonton draft picks. Give them to you in a minute. Face off inside the or outside the Swift Current blue line. Broncos have it. They kick it away, but Barrett has it up the left wing. Oh, he's yeah. leveled by Quick Kowski. Back into the Tri City zone. The Americans there. Cutowitz fires it back to neutralize. Back forward is Barrett. Kevin Barrett having a little trouble with it. Shoots it back to neutralize. Cutowitz is there. He dumps it in left side. Back out to neutralize. And uh, Cutowitz has it. Plays it ahead to Kwiatkowski. Dumps it in, but there's nobody home for the Americans. And the Broncos shoot it back out. Kyle Reeves with it. Delcourt takes it off his stick. Delcourt goes back to Duval. Back to Delcourt up the left wing. To Duval. Stolen away. Here come the Broncos. Sheldon Kennedy starts in and Fry slaps it away from him. The Americans with that checking line out there now. Cutowitz with it. Up the left wing. Fires it into neutral ice. Back for it. Right side. Barrett. Big hit on him by Delcourt. Cutowitz puts a bang on Reeves. And Duval fires it up the left side into the swift current zone. Bronco goalie Kruger is out for it. Trevor Kruger fires it around the right side. The Americans have it, lose it. Goes up the left wing now. Sheldon Kennedy, watch him hit the Jets. Right side, knocked away from him by Spenrath, and he dumps Kennedy into the boards hard. Shot back to neutral ice, but Barrett there to slap it back into the Tri-City zone. Shift change, swift current. And uh, we have an offside call against the Tri-City Americans as they take it back into their own zone. Well, maybe not. I believe it was icing. an icing call. Yep. Against the Swift Current Broncos. And it'll go back to the Bronco end of the ice. 2 0. Swift Current leading. 15.07 to go. First period. Is this moving fast or what? You bet it is. And this is exactly the type of style of play Swift Current likes. Tim Tisdale, 12th round pick of the Edmonton Oilers. He believed that guy's a 12th round pick. Shot! Hits the line! And the American score! Benrath gets the goal. The shot came from the right point by Klaus, I believe. I believe you're right there, Kurt. Klaus Klaus takes a blistering shot that you could hear it all the way up here to the boots. Hit the post, and there was Greg Benrath to pick up the garbage and set it in the net where Trevor Gruner wasn't even around and put it in, and the Americans erase that zero goal and now have a one-goal deficit behind Swift Current. Two to one, still Swift Current. Tell you what, the last thing John Oliver wants to do tonight is get into a shootout with these guys. Said that on the first edition of Talk Sports Tri-Cities Wednesday night. Face off, won by the Americans. Dump back into the Tri-City zone. Kraus racing it after it. Kraus will take it in behind his own net. Rob Kraus with the puck. Looks right, goes left. Comes up to Shostanka. Cross ice, stolen away. Lambert fires it in right of the Tri-City's net. Back forward is Kraus. Kraus trying to work it out. Gets it up in the air hard. Right of the net. Now they fired into neutral ice. Everybody racing back forward. Headman pass right. Spin wrap. Spin wrap. His pass smothered out front by Barrett. They get it across the goal mouth. Left side. Racing it after it. All the Americans comes out to the point. Shostanka finds Rennie just at the blue line. Rennie backhands it down. Knocked down by Nib. But it's shot back to neutral ice by the Broncos. Cross there. And he fires it into the crowd. Well, it looks like he might have drilled one of the uh, Swift Current coaches. That one wound up in the Swift Current bench. And looked like it went right over assistant coach uh, Grant uh, or Lauren Fry's head. Nailed him over there. Kirk, Rob Krause has now had six assists in his last four games. He's currently on a four-game point scoring streak, and that is great news for Rob Krause. Rob Krause is the leader out there on that team, and if he plays well, the whole team plays well. 2-1 to score Broncos leading. Faceoff Barnes against Sanderson. Bucked up back into the Tri-City zone as Barnes wins the draw. Goes right now to Duval. Here comes Murray Duval, bringing it up. Duval up the right wing. Duval in front of the net. Slides it across the goal mouth. Nobody can get to it, but Barnes takes it into the left corner. All over him is Kevin Knopf. Puck comes out right of the swift current net. He, they play it off the boards to Sheldon Kennedy. Cutterwitz there to knock him off the play. Now Barnes at the blue line. Goes right to Duval. And Duval has to wheel back into neutral ice. He skies it. Knocked down by Sheldon Kennedy. One on one break away. Kennedy shot. Holds it blocked it. And he blocks his second shot. Oh, what a play by Ole the goalie. Sheldon Kennedy took Olaf Kolzig over to his glove side, had Ole sprawled all over the ice, and Olaf Kolzig came up with a great, great save right there with a glove, swept it back underneath his pads and sat on it for a face-off. Great play by Olaf Kolzig. And the fans react to that. 
You hear him hollering, holy, holy. It'll be Barnes against Sanderson with the faceoff. Right circle, tri city zone. Pucks down, Barnes sweeps it away into the right corner, Krause back for it. Back behind the net goes Rod Krause. Looks right as the Americans start their breakout. Now Barnes wheels around and Kraus comes up the left side. Kraus shoots it off the board, back into neutral ice. Wheeling back for it is uh, Knopf into the swift current zone. Broncos with it, and they just raced all over the ice. Here they come, Kevin Knopf across the blue line of drive. Kozik kicks it off to the right corner. LeBron sweeps it down below the Tri-Cities net. Out to Shurtanka now. Back to LeBron, up the left wing. Here comes John LeBron. LeBron has to step back toward his own net. Goes back underneath low to Shurstenka now. Dan Shurstenka trying to get away from Blake Knox. Feeds it out right wing to Kennedy. Kennedy headman for Barnes. Dropped back to Kennedy. Stolen away by brother Sheldon. Sheldon across the blue line. LeBron takes him down. Here comes Shurstenka. Shoots a pass ahead to Barnes. Broken up by Swift Current. Broncos have it. Right side, Kimby Daniels. Daniels loses it to a sweep check. And we have a penalty. Have a penalty. Slashing the call. And it's going to go against the Tri-City Americans, giving the Swift Current Broncos their second power play opportunity. They've already converted on one. This is something you do not want to do against this high-powered Swift Current Bronco team. Well, and uh, Stu Barnes drawing the uh, slashing penalty. Not a happy camper right now. Comes at 7.20 of the period. Power play number two for the Broncos. Penalty killers for the Americans, Kotowitz, Duval, Delcourt, and Kwiatkowski. This is something that the Swift Current Broncos wanted to work on. Like I mentioned earlier, they've only scored two goals in five games on power plays, and they've already scored one tonight. Face off, one by Tisdale. Broncos with it, out to the point left. Cross ice right, Sheldon Kennedy steps in, feeds a pass right, and shot! Taken by Wade Smith. Blocked by Colzing. Here comes Delcourt into neutral ice. Delcourt and Kwiatkowski. Two on three. Delcourt across the blue line. Delcourt pulls up short. Fires and it's caught by Kruger. He's upended by Kwiatkowski in front of the net. Kruger goes down hard. But here come the Broncos. Tisdale across the blue line. Tim Tisdale. Drop back pass. Sheldon Kennedy. He goes left now to uh, Lambert. They slide in front of the net. Colzing blocks it. A shot and it scores. Holy cow. Boy, they move fast. That is incredible hockey right there. Unbelievable. How they just pass that puck. The play that they just did right there had the Americans completely inside out. And the Swift Current Broncos showed why they are now the best team in major junior hockey throughout Canada. I think especially the Americans were inside out. Holy cow. How'd you call that, Kurt? Not well. <laughs> that was really <laughs> good. Oh, man. 13, Tim Tisdale with the assist to number three, Dan Lambert at 7.54. Tisdale camped in front of the net. And the uh, Broncos take a 3-1 lead. That's his 49th goal of the season. Tim Tisdale, I believe, is the leading score penalty coming up. Against It'll Swift. be against Swift Current as the puck shot into the Bronco zone. The Bronco goalie Kruger takes a whack at it. And they blow the whistle right there. Slashing is the call. And this one will be against. That's the second power play goal for the uh, Broncos. Two for two. And now uh, Kimby Daniels goes to the penalty box at the 8-10 uh, mark. The Americans get their first power play of the night. Tisdale leads all scorers in the uh, Western Hockey League, I believe, does he not? He's pretty close up there, Kirk. I've got, I'll get the official on him, but he's got 49 goals, 65 assists for 113 points. Whew. Barnes against Kozowski on the faceoff. Peter Kozowski, they're in the right circle, swift current zone. Barnes winning it, taking it in, shoots! Quick block out front! Knocked away, but it's still to the right of the net. Out to the blue line and knocked down by the Americans. LeBrun back to Duval. I thought Barnes had that one drilled. Right side to Nibs. Calvin Nibs to Barnes. Barnes across the blue line, and they're offside. Craig Spenrath, Spenrath just in the head. Barnes on the faceoff. Starts toward the goal, takes a shot. It's blocked, not by Kruger, but uh, by Tim Tisdale, I believe. 
And Greg Spenrath was racing right in there, and he got checked right out of the play. Great defensive play by Swift Current there to keep Greg Spenrath from picking up that loose puck. Power play, Tri-City, just outside the Swift Current blue line. Barnes draws it back, goes right between the defensemen, and Kolzig will leave it for Sean LeBrun. LeBrun behind the net. 3-1, Swift Current leading. Here come the Americans as Calvin Nibs brings it up. Nibs shoots it in right of the net, hits the glass, bounces down. Nibs and uh, Duval chase after it. Spenrath taking a backhanded shot. It shot back to the blue line. LeBron back across the blue line, goes right to Duval. Duval finds Barnes left side. Barnes up the left wing, loses it to Kozowski. They go underneath low. Spenrath, a tremendous hit underneath the net. Now Nibs. Working his man over. LeBron at the blue line. Shoots. Blocked by Cougar. By Kruger, but he takes uh, Spinrath out of the play at the same time. Around right of the net now to Stu Barnes. Barnes up front. Duval. Duval with the puck. Goes left. Stu Barnes. Barnes. Backhands underneath for Spinrath. He's tied up, but it goes right now to Calvin Nibs. Nibs pass to Duval in the slot. Duval losing it to the Broncos. Swift current with it. They shoot it back to neutral ice. Kolzig comes out. Looks him over and shoots it ahead now to Barnes. Finds Barnes up the left wing. But the Broncos cut him off quickly. Barnes has to wheel through neutral ice. Takes it down the slot. Has it poke checked away left by Kevin Knopp. Back to Barnes. Out front now to LeBron. LeBron with it. Off the boards left to Barnes. Barnes cross ice right to Cutterwitz. He can't get it to go. Now Sheldon or Troy Kennedy with it. Kennedy backhand left. Barnes one times it. Goes around behind the net right side. Cutterwitz racing after it. Ties up his man. Puck goes low. Big hit there by Barnes. Pucks loose. Delcourt shot back out front and oh, played off a glove. And uh, Lambert takes a big hit underneath. Five seconds remaining in the power play. Boy, Lambert really took a hit. He's 5'7", uh, 175 pounds. Not hardly big enough to play hockey, but he's, he is a good one. Out of St. Malo, Manitoba. Rennie against Tisdale. Native of Swift Current. 12th round pick of Edmonton. Steve Rennie out of Surrey, British Columbia. 5'11", 180. Now Tisdale is chased. And in comes number 25, Wade Smith. Cutterwitz a drive. Blocked. And the penalty is over. Here come the Broncos. Brian Sackick up the left side. Sackick drops it back for Daniels on the left wing. Took Kimby Daniels along the boards. Now the Americans, Kennedy steals it loose. Troy Kennedy, Kennedy and Delcourt. Kennedy takes it to the right corner, leaves it for Delcourt. Tisdale all over Greg Delcourt. Back to Kennedy. Kennedy backhands it toward the net. Delcourt chasing it down low underneath. Out to uh, Troy Kennedy. And Troy takes a shot, but it's blocked up front. Now Shurstenka back into neutral ice, fires it into the swift current zone. Back behind the net, Lambert. Lambert fires it out right side. Sackick. And it's knocked away from him by the Americans at neutralized Delcourt. Dumping it back in, but Swift Current there. Here comes Brian Sackick. Sackick ahead of McFarland. The Americans steal it away. Quit. Kowski gets around one man to the blue line. Pulls up short. Loses it back to neutralize. Here comes Knopf. Kevin Knopf trying to get away from Quit. Kowski's chopped back, but it's taken by Tisdale. would rather have Knopf have the puck. Back in left of the net. Dirksen goes in low. Dirksen behind his own net. Feeds it out to the left wing to Fry. Fry shoots it back to neutralize for the Broncos right there. Sanderson with it. Cross ice pass right side stolen by the Americans. Fry trying to take it in. Fry and Robertson. And they lose it underneath Lotus. Sanderson. Here comes Barrett up the right wing. Drops it off now to Blake Knox. Knox takes it into the slot. Goes all the way right to left. Drops it against the left boards for Kruger. He fires it across the goal mouth right side. Back out to neutralize. Big hit by Robertson on Barrett. And the Americans have it. Dirksen firing it in left of the swift current goal. Kruger comes out, leaves it behind now. To uh, Darren Kruger. And we have a whistle at the blue line. Puck flew up into the audience here, just right below us, actually. Nice little catch down there by some of the fans. Receiving a nice little souvenir. They've changed the hockey pucks up here, Kirk. Uh, looks like it's uh, black with the uh, American's emblem on it now. Yeah, they look like they got got rid of that uh, that big white circle on it. The goalies complained about it, I know. That and was uh, very difficult to see as it was being shot because it blended right in with the ice. Trevor and Darren Kruger. Trevor, the goalie. Darren, a uh, defenseman for Swift Current. They are brothers, both of them from Swift Current. 
And they, uh, so we've got two sets of brothers on the ice tonight, the they Krugers have, and the Kennedys. Their brother, Scotty, was killed in that bus accident uh, two years ago. Face-off won by the Broncos, shot back into the Tri-City zone. LeBron almost had it knocked away by Sheldon Kennedy. Now it comes up the left wing to Barnes. Barnes with it. Barnes tried to make the quick pass, and it was knocked away. Here's Sheldon Kennedy across the blue line. Feeds on the left side now to Kozowski. Down low they go into the corner, back up to neutral ice. It'll be icing. I Nope, they're going to wave it off. And Trevor Kruger comes out, leaves it behind for Lambert. Lambert races around the goal, up the right side. Danny Lambert, he comes quickly up the right wing. Takes on Kutowitz and loses the puck. And it's shot back to neutral ice. Racing back for it is Knopf. Knopf with it for the Broncos. Knopf with it along the right wing boards now, right at center ice, and he's tied up there. Kutowitz and Kevin Knopf. Knopf acquired from Seattle. He's out of Edmonton, Alberta. Kirk, uh, just to uh, elaborate a little bit on the Kruger story, Scotty Kruger was killed. Uh, a former player of the uh, Swift Current Broncos was killed with three other teammates on December 30th, 86, en route to Regina. They named the award the Four Broncos Award for the most viable player, and last year Joe Sackick won it from Swift Current. Joe Sackick now playing with uh, Chicago? Quebec Nordiques. With Quebec, sorry about that. Puck shot back out into the slot by the Broncos. They fire it up left side. Up the left wing boards is Wade Smith. Drops it off right for Tisdale. Tisdale taken off of it by Spinrath. Kraus goes up left to Rennie. Rennie up the left wing. Dumps it in left of the Swift Current board, Swift Current net. And uh, Nibs there to kick it down low. Comes to Shurstenka. Dan Shurstenka plays it all the way around behind the Swift Current net again. Left to right. Rennie with it. Tied up down low by Wade Smith. Taken off his stick by Knight. Jeff Knight. Starts around, fires a quick headman pass to Tisdale. Tisdale upended by Krause. And the Americans try to dig the puck loose. Big hit there, Krause, as he just leveled Brian Sackick. Sackick uh, out of Burnaby, British Columbia. And uh, looks to me like Rob Krause might have got away with one there. I think so. <laughs> Although it was a good check. What do they call that when you take the stick and hold it up like this between two hands? and use it to pop the guy with? Legal? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Three to one, Swift Current leading the Tri-City Americans. 6.21 to play first period. Face off at center ice, Broncos win it. As uh, Tisdale wins the draw and then holds up Kwiatkowski. Puck goes to Jeff Knight. Knight up the left wing boards for the Broncos. Gets it ahead to Sackick. Back to neutral ice, overskated, knocked away, and Trevor Sim with it. Sim. Drops it off to Sackick in the slot left of the Tri-City net. Dirksen jumps on the puck, fires it around to the right side. Now and after it quickly is Trevor Sim. Sim working against Dirksen. Back to neutral ice, and Dirksen puts a big hit on Knight. Puck down in front of the Tri-City's net. A couple of shots blocked by Kolzik, and the Americans have it. Delcourt, cross ice left to Dirksen. Dirksen up the left wing, working against Jeff Knight. Dirksen stops, leaves it for Delcourt. Delcourt tried to center it. Kwiatkowski there, but he couldn't get his stick down. Broncos with it. Tisdale, right side. Tisdale across the blue line, drops it to Sim. Sim skates in on Kolzig, fires and scores. Trevor Sim, his second goal of the night. He just blasted it. Was that a quick shot or what? Exactly. That was an incredible shot. Caught him up above the uh, glove hand up into the corner. Trevor Sim getting the goal. And Tim Tisdale was coming down on the uh, stick side, and it was a two-on-one situation. And a nice little head fake by Trevor Sim to go ahead and shoot that puck up over uh, Olaf Kolzik's glove and into the net. And Swift Current now takes a three-goal lead. They lead 4-1 to one with 526 remaining in this first period. And Olaf Kolzik is going to come out. Well, last uh, Tuesday night, Furlan was pulled by Coach John Oliver after... Uh, a rocky start. Now Kolzig comes off the ice. Furlan comes on, puts on that uh, newly constructed goalie mask, the fiberglass mask, and skates into the crease. Furlan, the magician, getting a nice hand from the uh, Tri Cities crowd here as he comes on to replace Olaf Kolzig. Look at this. If you go down the list, Trevor Sim, a third-round pick of Edmonton. Peter Soberlack, first-round pick of Edmonton. Thought they had one more. Get it for you in a minute. Puck up the right side. Slides in front of Furlan, and it's slapped away by the Americans. Puck off the uh, right side. 
Goes right to Sheldon Kennedy. Kennedy starts in. Barnes steals it away. Barnes with it up the left wing. Barnes overskates it. Falls down in the right corner. Has to bring it back up. Fires it off the boards for LeBron. LeBron at the blue line. LeBron cross ice right. Intended for Kraus. Broken up by Sheldon Kennedy. Kennedy wheels right at center ice. Sheldon Kennedy with it. I did not get the assist on that last goal. As the Broncos drop back. Comes to Lambert. Lambert goes to Barrett. Barrett up the right wing. Cross ice pass. Left he goes to uh, number 10, Matt Ripley. Ripley into the slot. Round to the right side. Shoot. Curling blocks it away. Puck shot back to neutral ice. Shot down low. Glove by Shostenka. Taken away from him. But now knocked loose. And the Americans have it. Here comes Barnes. Three on two. Barnes with LeBron. Penalty coming up. Drops it back for Kennedy. Right to Barnes. They race in. LeBron and he scores. No. Blocked by Kruger. And the puck shot out of play. A slashing call. I thought Barnes, who raced in there with LeBron and Kennedy, a three-on-two, had Kruger beaten, but somehow he came up with a uh, score. Kirk, I bet there was assist. Uh, assist from Tim Tisdale and number 26, Brian Sackett, on that goal by Trevor Sim. Okay, the uh, penalty against Swift Current, against Ripley. That was at 15:44. Power play number two for the Americans. Broncos lead four to one over Tri City. Americans 0 for one on power play so far tonight. I tell you, you'll not see better hockey than we're seeing tonight. This is excellent hockey. The Tri City Americans score about 19 percent of the time. Swift Current kills about 79 percent of their penalties. Tisdale wins the draw from Rennie. Goes in behind his own net to Barrett. Barrett slaps it back out along the boards. Dirksen can't quite get to it. He'll have to chase it back to his own zone. Devin Dirksen. Dirksen and Kutowitz, the defense pair for the Americans. The line is Rennie, Spenrath, and Nibs. Now Calvin Nibs carries it across neutral ice, fires it in left of the net. Goes all the way around to the right boards. Kutowitz there. Chops it down low. Rennie trying to get it away from Kruger. Kruger's out of the net, but the Broncos there to take it away. Swift current. Lambert rifles one back to neutral ice. All the way back behind the Tri-Cities net. Furlan there will leave it for Devin Dirksen. Dirksen with the puck. Standing behind his own net, waiting for the breakout. Leaves it now for Calvin Nibs. Nibs goes left to Rennie. Rennie across the off the left wing boards. Down low. Rennie chasing in with Lambert. They fire it around to the right side. Spin ref takes his man off it. Tries to shoot it low. Kruger blocked it. Now the Americans with it as they start in Spendrath, but it's stolen away by Swift Current. Back into neutral ice, and LeBrun goes back for it. 50 seconds to go. The Barnes LeBrun line on now for the American. Barnes, Delcourt, Kennedy with LeBrun. LeBrun losing it at the blue line to Kozowski. Barnes has to chase back to get it. Now Barnes brings it up. Barnes splits the defense with Barnes and Barnes is taken down from behind. A tripping. Barnes was taken down big time on that one. And it will create a five on three for 31 seconds. Excellent opportunity for the Americans coming up right now as another penalty is assessed against the Swift Current Broncos. This time it gets to go against number 18, Mark McFarland, who tripped. And that's also a simultaneous penalty going against the Americans. Greg Delcourt has taken a, bench, uh, taken a seat at the oh bench now. Oh, my. Oh, that just wiped out a great opportunity. They'll still have a four-on-three opportunity for 31 seconds. And then I wonder if they're going to go ahead and do the simul, uh, simul on the uh, two penalties here. Out. Ruffs, giant Ruffs is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruffs so is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the rough giant burger. Russ, now at two locations on Clearwater and Kennewick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. Kruger has apparently, or uh, Rivas has apparently explained it to the... Uh, officials and uh, we should get the announcement here momentarily it looks like it will be a five on three first of all for swift current number 21 darren kruger two minutes for tripping for swift current number 18 mark mcfarland two minutes for roughing 
For the Tri-City Americans, number 10, Greg Dill Court, two minutes for roughing. Those penalties at 17-13. Well, the two concurrent penalties, the two roughing penalties offset, and it will be a five on three for about 31 seconds. Face off, Bronco zone. Barnes, Ben Rath, Kennedy. It's chopped down low, down below the swift current goal. Kennedy with it, finds Barnes in the, the uh, right circle. Barnes trying to chop it back to Kennedy, takes it out front instead. Goes left to Duval, Duval a drive, and it's blocked away off the glass. Troy Kennedy has it. Back to Duval up front. Duval goes right now. For the Americans to LeBron. Back to Duval. Cross ice right. Ben Rath to Gore. Gore. Kennedy. From Ben Rath and Duval, I believe. Duval to Ben Rath to Kennedy. That's exactly how it went, Kirk. What a beautiful play. And that was a five on three situation. There's seven with seven seconds remaining in that five on three. Uh, opportunity and the Americans took advantage of it with and beautiful they, passes too and they still have a minute 36 of power play because they scored before the penalty to Ripley was over that's right joining us in the uh, 223 to go in the second period or in the first period now 42 swift current leading tri-cities Broncos win the draw Puck chopped up the right wing boards the Americans with it LeBron now LeBron back in his own zone tries to get around Sheldon Kennedy goes right to Duval instead now Duval brings it up Duval across the blue line goes out to the right side tied up by the Broncos gets it down low now to Shelt to Troy Kennedy slapped loose by the Broncos and back out to neutralize Sheldon Kennedy stripping it away that time and the Americans take it back behind their own goal now Murray Duval Waits for Troy Kennedy to wheel around left of the goal. Beats his brother Sheldon. Troy Kennedy taking a couple of pretty good pokes from Sheldon there. Right side, Barnes. Barnes with it a right wing. Hooks it down low to Troy Kennedy. Shot back to neutralize. Racing after it is Tisdale. But Furlan comes out of the goal. Plays it right. Now skies it into neutralize. Back into the swift current zone. Broncos play it along the right wing. Sheldon Kennedy right side to Tisdale. 39 seconds remaining in the power play to Lambert. Lambert rifles it out to neutralize. LeBron catches it. LeBron dumps it off left to Rennie. Rennie has it swept away from him by Sheldon Kennedy. Ooh, big hit by Rennie on Kennedy. Back to neutralize and Duval races after it. Murray Duval back behind his own net. Brings it up the left wing now. Feeds the pass to the right side. Here comes LeBron. LeBron up the right wing. Sean LeBron across the blue line and a whistle as Rennie just got over the blue line. Exactly right, Kirk. Nine seconds remaining in the power play, or eight seconds, rather. 55 seconds remaining. With us in the uh, broadcast booth tonight is... Paul uh, Drake. Paul Drake. <laughs> Boy, you talk about brave. This is going too fast, Paul. The uh, KOTY morning man, Paul Drake, and you've been trying to give away some goodies, haven't you? Yes, I've spotted a couple of people with radios. I see a couple uh, down below, right below us here. I'm going to be uh, walking around during uh, intermissions giving away some gift certificates. Face off, won by the Americans, back into neutral ice. A shot taken from center ice, and it's blocked by Kruger. One second remaining in the power play. Cutterwood shoots it back now to Kraut. Power play's over. Out to Kwiatkowski, and it's a two-line pass. As the puck goes across neutral ice, the Americans one for three on power plays. Trail 4-2 to the Swift Current Broncos. 42 seconds remaining in the period in a racehorse hockey game. Well, this is an incredible hockey game. A lot of fast action, a lot of good saves, too. A lot of great plays. We've seen six goals scored already. Four by the Broncos, two by the Americans. And his faceoff will be inside the Tri-City zone, top of the left circle. Rennie against Sackick. Rennie wins the draw, dumps it back to neutral ice. Back four to the Broncos, right to Knopf. Knopf with it, goes on the right side now to Sim. Kutowitz knocks him off the puck, but Sackick is there. Puck out to neutral ice. Where uh, Kozowski takes a whack at it, and it's back into the swift current zone. Broncos with it is Delcourt. And uh, Kozowski trade slashes down low. Now Rennie races after the puck right of the net. Kutowitz there, firing it back into the swift current zone. Nine seconds remaining. Broncos with it behind their net. Kruger 
This is Darren Kruger bringing it up. Three seconds. Shoots it back to neutral ice. Kraus there, and time will run out. That's the end of the period with their score. Swift Current 4, Tri-Cities 2, back in one minute on this Tri-Cities Radio American Hockey Broadcast. Carrot Glasses introduces Neon Ultra Lights, the new sport glasses, bright neon colors, European made and styled. Ultralight nylon frames, polycarbonate lenses for maximum protection against UV and blue light without color distortion. They cut glare and infrared. And there's more. A one-year replacement guarantee against breaking and loss. That's right, against loss. Call now to order for just $39.95 at 1-800-289-3995. Or send $39.95 plus postage and handling to Carry Glasses. Box 2742-548, Palm Springs, California, 92263. Call now, 1-800-289-3995. Don Cover, Tim Yance, Julie Yance. They're all registered for the $600 ski trip to be given away on the last home game of the Americans on March 17th. Okay, Paul Drake, thank you very much. Tony Ott joins us again in the broadcast booth, and we're just about ready to uh, get this thing underway. The second period face-off sponsored by Vacuum City with two locations to serve you in Pasco and in Richland. On the face-off, it'll be for the American Stu Barnes, for the Swift Current Broncos, it'll be Peter Kozowski. Kozowski out of Edmonton. Well, I take that back. It'll be Kimby Daniels. Daniels facing off against Barnes. Puck is down. Drawn back for the Swift Current Broncos. Back to Kevin Knopf. Knopf with it from Lambert. Knopf up the right side now. Cut off with it, dumps it in right of the Tri-Cities net. Furlan still in goal. Behind the net is Kraus. He flips it back out for the Americans. Knocked away for the Broncos. Back into neutral ice. Well, they're playing the puck about 12 feet in the air now. Three Americans almost break in clean on the Broncos, but Swift Current takes it right back. Kevin Kanoff across the blue line. Fires it in right of the Tri-Cities net. LeBrun with it. Nearly has it stripped away. Now back to Sean LeBrun in the right corner. Up now to Barnes. Barnes across in front of the net, goes right side to Kraus, up the right wing. Kraus ahead to LeBron, to Kennedy. Troy Kennedy across the blue line, finds LeBron in the slot. Puck knocked down, Broncos have it. Now the Americans slap at it, but the Broncos bring it out. Back to neutral ice, Shurstenka there. Finds Kennedy on the right wing, Troy Kennedy. Goes in around Lambert, takes Lambert deep, tries to drop it back to Barnes, can't do it. Comes out left to Kozowski. Peter Kay up the left wing, now goes right to Kimby Daniels. Daniels across the blue line, out the right side. Daniels taken out of the play by Shurstenka. Taken off his stick, centered right in front of the net. Shot! Blocked by Furlan, and the Americans are there. Furlan comes out on Daniels and stoned him at close range. Right side, Kennedy back to Barnes, up the left wing. Stu Barnes takes it in. Barnes, our Kruger to Kennedy. He scores! Kennedy from Stu Barnes. Great play by Stu Barnes right there as he wheeled in around Kruger and passed it off a great dish pass over to Troy Kennedy. And Troy Kennedy picks up his second goal of the night. That's his third game with, while an American where he's had two goals. 
Roy Kennedy brings the Americans within one as Swift Current still leads four to three. Barnes getting one assist. Now we'll get the other assist for in a minute. It comes at the minute 24 mark. And Swift Current now leading four to three over the Tri-City Americans. Barnes getting the assist. Now the Rennie line, Rennie and Delcourt, along with Spinrath, back on the on the ice now. Troy Kennedy has seven goals in five games for the Tri-City Americans. Great trade to bring back Darren, too. Boy, what a great thing for the Tri-City Americans to get Darren Kwiatkowski and Troy Kennedy all in one shot. For Shane Cole. For Shane Cole. Well, for Shane Cole and Frank Malone. Not a bad trade. Not a bad trade. 4-3, Swift Current leading the Tri-City Americans. Early going, second period. Americans win the draw. Duval goes left to Cutowitz. Cutowitz bringing it up the left wing. Fires the head man pass into Del Court. And we have a whistle as it goes in behind the Swift Current net. It will be icing against the Tri-City Americans. And... You know, Kirk, the Tri-City Americans are 62% winners at home. And since 21 home dates, they are 13, 5, and 3. And against the East, Kirk, they are 2 and 4 at home. Four of those five losses at home. Well, it was offside, and the Americans take the face off at center ice. Duval up the right wing, centers it, but it's knocked away by Barrett. Into the right corner. Puck goes around behind the swift current goal. Shot out into the right corner again. Barrett with it. Backhanded away from him by Spenrath. Back for it quickly is Kruger. Kruger, outlet pass, stolen by Duval. Duval wheels in, around behind the net, wraps it around, and it's slapped off the side of the net. Now Rennie trying to get it in the right corner, is held up. Delcourt gets it. Delcourt back to Duval at the right wing. Duval has it chopped away, but Delcourt there. Now Rennie with it. Rennie tried to slide it into Delcourt. Back to Greg Delcourt in the right corner. Back up front now Duval. Duval a drive, smothered up front. Uh-oh, this is trouble. Here comes Sackick. Sackick one-on-one on Furlan. Shakes Furlan. Blocked it. And it's kicked back out to neutralize as Joe Sackick is stoned at point-blank range. Delcourt drops it for Spenrath. Spenrath in the slot. Wrists it toward the net. Blocked away. Delcourt chases it into the right corner. And Sackick kicks it loose. But Rennie's there for the Americans. Rennie underneath to Delcourt. Delcourt back to Spenrath. His shot blocked by Kruger. Right side of the net. Here come the Broncos. Shoot a pass right side in for Tisdale. But he can't get to it. Shift change, swift current. And icing is called. We'll take timeout on this Tri-Cities Radio American hockey broadcast. Ruffs, giant burgers. Ruffs is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruffs is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the rough giant burger. Ross, now at two locations on Clearwater and Kennewick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. Swift current zone. Broncos win the draw. Out to the top of the circle, but shot into neutral ice where Dirksen has it. Dirksen ahead to Barnes. Barnes leaves it for LeBron. LeBron taken down from behind. Penalty. Puck knocked loose. And, uh, well, he finally found the whistle. Hooking is the call. And it will go against the Broncos. Americans will have their fourth power play. Stepping into the penalty box is number five, Jeff Knight. This is a great chance for the Americans. Now, the Americans came out in the second period playing excellent defense, taking some quality shots on the net. Great pass from Stu Barnes to Troy Kennedy to get the third goal. The Americans are playing inspired hockey right now, and they have to do it against the Eastern Division leading Swift Current Broncos. Face off, top of the left circle. It will be Barnes against Peter Kozowski. Kozowski out of Edmonton. Now Spenrath over to talk to the referee, and they want to measure. They want to measure a stick. They want to measure McFarland's stick. And the I think gauge is out. Let's a see. great call. Well, maybe we'll see. We'll see if it goes against the Americans. Yes, it will. McFarland called for an illegal stick. Oh, that could be a momentum changer right there. Now, this means the Americans have a power play, a five on three for 
two minutes. Well, the uh, McFarland goes to the penalty box. Now he'll have to give up the illegal stick. And the Americans have a five on three. An Americans player can be fined. I think the last word I heard was $500 after Barnes got whistled for an illegal stick in Brandon in about the fifth game of the season. And they are really careful. That's a great call by Coach John Oliver, too. A great time to do it. Well, it's not like McFarland's stick was obvious. Now, for Swift Current, Tisdale steps out of the center circle and goes to the bench. And uh, I think Tisdale wants a new stick because I don't think he wanted the Americans to call another one. You can only have two players off at a time. And they are, they're searching for another stick. They're bringing him one out right now. Oh, they're, oh okay, they're getting a stick for uh, McFarland. Tisdale takes a new stick to McFarland. McFarland looks at it like it's a bug. Obviously not one of his. Well, he snapped that stick off down in the penalty box when he walked in. Now Kennedy and Tisdale on the faceoff. Kennedy wins it. Back to LeBron at neutral ice. Americans five on three. LeBron brings it to the blue line, goes right side. Sheldon Kennedy drops it back to LeBron. LeBron goes left. Duval cross ice right, right in front of the net. Spenrath chops it down low. Knocked back out by the Broncos. Saved by LeBron. LeBron goes left to Barnes. Crowd yelling TCA. Barnes at the left wing. Back up front now to Duval, to LeBron, back to Duval. He goes left, Barnes, Barnes starts in, fires it across the goal mouth. And it goes back out to LeBron at the wing. Minute 26 on the double penalties. LeBron with it, goes left to Duval. Duval finds Barnes down low. Barnes skates out to the wing, back up front now, Duval, left LeBron. LeBron with it to Murray Duval. Cross ice right, Spenrath, Barnes one times it. And it's blocked by Kruger. Barnes gets it right back, wheels around. Has to steal it back from Kanaf. Barnes goes right side. LeBron a drive. Four, four. How are they going to disallow it? They're going to say it was good. They're going to disallow it. Remus is coming over to the official scorer right now, and he's waving his head no. And the hats are being flown out onto the ice for Kennedy, but I don't think they're going to give it to him. Well, let's see. The red light's still on. The Americans are celebrating. They're yelling goal. They will allow it. That is great. Troy Kennedy getting the hat trick. Is that a natural? It is. It a is. natural hat a trick. A natural hat trick. They're going to go ahead and allow it. I saw Rebus over there. He was shaking his head no. And that was a, they're going to go ahead and allow it. 401, a power play goal. Well, Knight steps out of the penalty box, but McFarland will stay put, and the Americans will have their fifth power play underway. They are two for four on power plays so far tonight. Kennedy and now Swift Current arguing that the puck was deflected in off a of skater's glove, but I don't think so. I think it was deflected in off of Kennedy's skate or his backside. to number 14, Stu Barnes! And number 27, Greg Spenrath at 4 one Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Whatever. It counts for the Americans anyway. It's 4-4. Four 4-4 to four. Four to four tie. Power play Americans. LeBron across the blue line. LeBron right side. Finds, looking for Barnes. Wraps around. Centers and is slapped away by the Broncos. Troy Kennedy has a broken stick. He'll step off the ice. Here comes Duval. Duval to LeBron. 34 seconds left in the power play. LeBron goes to the left wing. Cross ice right. Murray Duval. Duval comes up the right side now. Duval with it. Across the blue line. Feeds in left of the swift current net. Chasing down low. Delcourt. Now it's shot back to neutral ice. LeBron will have to race after it. Furland comes out to play it. Now Furland shoots it back out front to Calvin Nibs. Ten seconds remaining. Up the right side. Rennie goes left to Nibs. Here comes Nibs in a hurry. Calvin Nibs firing it in right of the swift current goal. Nibs and Delcourt take it off the boards there. Down low to Nibs. Knocked away by Darren Kruger. Back to Delcourt. 
Delcourt tied up by Barrett. They get it loose in front of the net. Rennie tried to redirect it in, wouldn't go. Rennie to the right side. Fires it down low for Nibs. Goes into the right corner. Out to Barrett. Stopped at the blue line by the Americans. That was Shurstenka. Now Nibs shooting it down low. Kruger comes out of the goal mouth. Shoots it around the boards right. Kutowitz there to knock it down. Kruger with it behind his own net now. Darren Kruger takes it out the right side. Headman pass right to Kozowski. Here comes Kozowski. Two on one. Kozowski shot. Berlin blocked it. And Shurstenka there to slap it away. Americans two for five on power plays. Power plays over. Puck shot to neutralize. Here come the Broncos. Sackick losing it. Fisher Stink a headman to Nims. Knocked away from him. Back to Rennie. Redirected. Tisdale has it knocked away from him. Kotowicz shoots it back to neutralize. Back four now is Kruger. Kruger. Headman pass to Tim Tisdale. Tisdale wheels back to his own zone. Starts up across the red line. Tisdale hits the Jets across the blue line now. Tisdale taken out of the play. Puck slides down the slot. It's loose. Shurstenka tries to get it taken away by Lambert. Knocked loose or blocked by Furlan. Left side it goes to Sim. Underneath, down low. Fry there for the Americans. Fry, headman pass to Delcourt. Delcourt brings it up the right wing. Has it knocked away by the Broncos. Tisdale with it from Lambert. Right side, a drive! Furlan blocked it, Trevor Sim. They center it, Furlan pokes it away. Puck in the right corner. Now Dirksen with it, or Fry rather. Here comes Rick Fry. Three on, two on three. Fry tried to get it to Kwiatkowski. Fry taken off big time by Lambert. Now we got a penalty right coming side. up. Robertson takes center for Kwiatkowski. Puck knocked loose. Swift current with it. Penalty comes against the Broncos. That's going to go against Kevin Ganop for an elbowing on Kutowitz, I believe, that was down in the corner there. And that was a vicious blow to the head. Holy cow. I'm not sure exactly if that's the player. I'm sure that's who it is. You bet. It was. It was Kevin Knopf. Or excuse me, Dan Lambert is going to the penalty box. I know I saw the pile up down here in the corner. And what a shot to the head. He should be sitting down for a while for that one. Well, let's see what referee Rebus has to say. Now, Furlan, the Americans had pulled Furlan on the delayed penalty. Well, they're only going to call it roughing. Like we said before, roughing covers a relatively wide uh, range of activity on the ice. <laughs> oh, boy, this has turned into a hockey game, hasn't it, Kurt? It has. 13.07 to go in the second period. We're tied at four. Americans were their sixth power play of the night against the Swift Current Broncos. Power play team, Kennedy, Spinrath. And Stu Barnes. Kennedy will step in against Peter Kosowski. Puck is down. Takes it. Goes into the right corner. Kruger with it. Tried to shoot it out along the boards. Americans stop it. At the point left is Duval. Shot down low. Now the Broncos fired around to the right point. LeBrun stops it. Goes down low now to Spinrath. His pass is blocked away. Shot back in by Duval. Back to LeBrun at the right point. LeBrun left. Duval. Duval into the slot. Kennedy, his shot blocked by Kruger, and Kruger covers up. Nice job by Trevor Kruger. That was a beautiful save by Trevor Kruger. Also a great play by Murray Duval. And we have an, uh, we have an adjustment on the score, and it was scored by Troy Kennedy. Kennedy does get the hat trick. A natural hat trick at that. Minute 35 remaining in the penalty. Americans power play. Kozowski against Barnes. Now Kozowski will be asked to leave the circle. And in comes Blake Knox out of Thompson, Manitoba. Face off won by the Americans. Right to LeBrun. LeBrun cross ice left. Duval has to chase it down. Goes to Barnes. Barnes can't handle the pass. And here come the Swift Current Broncos. They dump it into the Tri-City zone. LeBrun back for it. LeBrun has to step around Sackick. Back for it now is Duval. Duval behind the net. Comes up the right side. Murray Duval brings it across the blue line. Duval to the red line. Right of the blue line into the swift current zone. Barnes races in on the goalie. Comes back up along the right wing. They chase for it along the board. Spinrath. Duval. And they finally dig it loose. Goes underneath. Kruger leaving it there for Darren Kruger. Back out front. Chopped away from LeBrun. 54 seconds remaining in the power play. Back for it is Duval. Finds LeBron left side, cross ice right. Kennedy, Troy Kennedy ahead to Barnes. Barnes rips in there for Spinrath. It's blocked right of the net. Big pile up right in front of the net. Now Barnes takes it around, tries to wrap it around. Chopped away from him underneath Darren Kruger. 
Back out to the blue line. Got it by Duval. Back into neutral ice. Out to Furlan. Furlan playing it ahead to Murray Duval. Duval coming up the right wing for the Americans. His pass smothered by Tim Tisdale. Taken away from him by Del Court. He goes left to LeBron. LeBron with it. LeBron firing it in left of the swift current net. Blocked there by Kruger. His pass taken away. Knocked down by Del Court. But the puck comes back out to neutral ice. Or back out to the blue line. LeBron. Now to Del Court down low. Barnes. Barnes takes a big hit underneath the net. Three seconds. Two. Puck comes out to the right boards. Krause will have to chase it into neutral ice. Stepping on his Lambert. Just getting it away from him is LeBron. They fire it back into the swift current zone. We're tied at four. Half a period to go in the second. Here come the Broncos. Broncos quickly. Kruger across the red line. A drive. And shot in wide of the net right side. Big shot taken by Reeves. He tried to one-time the rebound. And it was blocked out front by Rennie. Rennie headman pass for Delcourt. Drop back to Rennie as Delcourt goes down. And we have an offside call. Delcourt about got totally separated from all that makes sense and uh, winds up getting called for being offside. Kirk Stu Barnes is eight points away from getting his 200th career point. He's been in the league a year and three quarters roughly. It took Sean LeBron nearly four years to hit the 200 mark, and Sean's currently got 244 points. Well, and a lot of players in this league play three or four years and never get 200 points. Puck shot back into the swift current zone on the faceoff. We're tied at four. Here come the Broncos. Sanderson. Sanderson up quickly. Dumps it into the Tri-City zone right of the net. Furlan comes out. Pokes it away. They scramble for it down behind the Tri-City's net. Now it comes out onto the stick of Krause, stolen away, but it gets to Fry. Fry goes left, Shurstenka, right to Rennie. Rennie across the blue line, up the right wing boards, drops it behind for Nibs. Nibs nearly losing it. Now Lambert chases in after it. Rennie takes him off the play, but it comes up along the boards now for the Broncos to the blue line. Taken away by Shurstenka. Tried to backhand a shot. Lambert upends him. Now the Americans with it. Rennie along the right wing. Rennie tried to center for Nibs. Stolen away by Reeves in the slot. Headman pass goes left now to Daniels. Kimby Daniels taken off by Krause and Furland. Comes back out to neutralize. Lambert fires it back in for Swift Current, but Fry there for the Americans. Fry across the blue line. Fry has the puck stripped away. Here come the Broncos. Three on two. Up across the blue line is Daniels. Kimby Daniels taken off the play by Kotowicz. Puck goes right of the net. Kraus there to flip it away. Rob Kraus, headman left. Finds Kevin Robertson. Robertson across the blue line. Robertson centers for Kwiatkowski and Kiwi overskates the puck. Shot back out off the board. Duval a drive. Blocked up front by Lambert. Lambert to the right wing. He slides it across, but Robertson there to slap it back in. Knopf fires it back into neutral ice. Into the Tri-City zone. Duval will touch it for icing. And with icing the call, we'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio American Hockey Broadcast. Get ready, Tri-Cities. It's the second annual March of Dimes Gourmet Gala, Saturday, February 11th at the Hanford House. You won't want to miss this formal dining affair featuring celebrity chefs cooking in six designer kitchens while we all get to mingle. Last year, we had Ann Jeffries, Margaret O'Brien, and June Wilkinson, and this year, have we got a surprise for you. The Gourmet Gala. Tickets available at the March of Dimes office, 943-2660, and all proceeds to fight birth defects. We'll see you there, the Gourmet Gala. All right, that's good. Back at Tri-Cities Coliseum, the spirit in the sky will watch it over the Tri-City Americans tonight, at least that's what the American fans hope as LeBron faces off against Trevor Sim. Buck is down, LeBron wins the draw, it goes to the left side. Kennedy there for the Americans, dumps it down low for LeBron. Kruger comes out, fires it up to the right point. Duval, but he loses it across the blue line. Now dumping it back into the swift current zone. Jeff Knight will start the breakout. Knight fires a pass left side to Darren Kruger. Barnes all over him. Kruger has to wheel away from Barnes. Kruger trying to bring it out. Gets it up the right wing to Knopf. Knopf buried by the Americans along the right wing boards. Now here come the Broncos. This is Jeff Knight shooting it in right of the net. Furlan out to drop it. We're in a 4-4 tie. Puck shot into neutral ice. Racing back for it now is Kruger. And it'll be icing when Kruger touches it. And we'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio, America's Hockey Broadcast. Lost, giant burgers. 
Ruff's is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruff's is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the rough giant burger. Ross, now at two locations on Clearwater and Kenwick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. 4-4 four, four tie, Kirk Williamson along with Tony Ott at Tri-Cities Coliseum. Rennie on the faceoff, circle right, Tri-City zone. Now Rennie being excused. It's Rennie against Tisdale, I believe. Either Tisdale or Reeves, it's Tisdale. Face-off won by the Americans, Krauss behind his own net. Kraus to start the breakout for the Americans. Teams at equal strength. Kraus firing it back to neutral ice. To be icing if the Broncos are able to chase it down. Now Kruger will play it instead. And Rennie takes it off the right wing boards. Rennie going down low. Takes a hit from Lambert. Now Delcourt down low for the Americans. Spenrath races in there. And they'll freeze it along the boards. That's a good play by Greg Delcourt as the Americans attempted from Rob Kraus down in their own zone to put it all the way down in. And it almost was an icing call until Trevor Kruger got behind the net and uh, stopped it. Then Greg Delcourt and Greg Spinrath raced down there to freeze it up against the boards. Now this enables the Americans to face off down inside the swift current zone and off to the glove side or your or right side if you're looking from center ice. And this is guess an important who's, face -off. Guess who's down there yapping at each other? Trying to set up a little, uh, I think uh, Danny Lambert is trying to get on Spenrath's dance card for a little bit later on. Mm. Wouldn't that be an interesting mm. mismatch? Oh, oh, oh. Lambert only 5'7", 175 pounds. Spenrath 6'2", 215. However, I've seen Lambert uh, with the gloves off before. As the puck shot into the swift current zone. Down low, Delcourt centers it right in front of shot taken by Spinrath. Blocked by Kruger. Shot back along the right wing. Back into neutral ice. Cross back for the Americans. Cross ice right. Chases that. Chasing after it is Delcourt. Docked away by Lambert. Delcourt gets it. Tried to center to Spinrath. Stolen away by Rene and a whistle. Interference. Interference is the call. call. And I believe it's going to go against Greg Delcourt of the Tri-City Americans. That's first indication that I've gotten from up here. They four four tie. Nope. Spenrath. Spenrath is who is going to go in. Well, he's been he was holding up Lambert. Yeah. And he's having a word for the linesman and the referee and everyone else in sight. <laughs> oh boy, he did too. He did a little John on the way to the penalty box. 7.20 to go on the period. We're tied at four. There are goals by Kennedy. Barnes getting two assists. LeBron an assist on the second one. Kennedy with a natural hat trick. Three in a row. One at the end of the first period and two more. To tie the score at four. That's great doing that right in front of your brother. Right in your brother's face. That's right. <laughs> Kwiatkowski facing off with Tisdale. And the puck's taken out of there by Swift Current. Broncos on the power play. Their first of the period. Cross ice right. Sheldon Kennedy goes left now to Kruger. Darren Kruger, head man pass to Tisdale. He dumps it in on the Americans, slap it back to neutral ice. Back forward is Sheldon Kennedy, and can that guy move on the ice? Kennedy starts out, nibs all over him, but Sheldon Kennedy just waits him out, comes up across the blue line and fires it into the Tri-City zone. Furlan with it. Now he rips one out and it went into the crowd. Now Furlan yelling it at the uh, referee about being uh, interfered with and abused down there by uh, Lambert, or not Lambert, it's uh, McFarland. McFarland from Amherst, Nova Scotia. 5'9", 182 pounder, he's not real big, at least not tall. Swift Current with a couple of skating fire plugs on this team. No doubt about that. Excellent team. Rennie against Tisdale. Tri-City zone, circle right. Face off, one by the Broncos. Back to uh, Sheldon Kennedy at the blue line. He goes left now to Kruger. Kruger's drive blocked up front. Comes floating in toward Furlan and he bats it away. Nibs with it along the boards. Nibs goes down. Puck comes up to the left point now. Kruger, hook checked away, but Tisdale has it. Tisdale slides it down low and blocked right off the puck is McFarland. And they dump it back to neutral ice, racing back for it is Kruger. 
Furlan will clear the glove out of the way as he watches as the Broncos lost a glove. Furlan just drops it into his own net. Maybe an American without a glove now as Tisdale steps in. Rennie trying to poke check it away. Goes into the corner left. Back out and Kennedy slaps it the length of the ice. Back out for it is Kruger. Trevor Kruger leaves it back for Sheldon Kennedy. Kennedy wheeling around behind the net. The brothers Kruger out of Elkhorn, Manitoba. Kennedy bringing it up across the Tri-Cities blue line to the left wing. Brother Troy slaps it away. Pucks loose and shot back out of there by Cutowitz. Delcourt racing after it. Delhi's going to try to catch Kruger out of the goal mouth. Now the goalie, Trevor Kruger, around behind his own net to start the breakout. Leaves it there for brother uh, Darren. Up the right wing. Drop back now to Sheldon Kennedy. He goes left to Tisdale. Tisdale taken out by Kraus. Hard. And Kraus with it along the, the left wing. Kraus with the puck. Kraus with the Americans. Kraus and LeBron. Two on two. Kraus brings it up. Goes left to the net. Kraus looking for LeBron. Wheels around behind the net. Kraus out to... Spin off and a slider shot. Blocked by Kruger. Loose. LeBron took a shot at it. Pucks loose. And the goalie was out of the goal mouth. LeBron couldn't get it to go either. Spinrath chases his man in deep. Power play's over. Penalty coming up. That power play was number three for the Broncos. And they are now two for three on power plays for the night. And the linesmen over there are separating the players. And I saw referee Mike Rebus' hand go up. And uh, looks like there was a penalty called, but maybe not. Maybe it was played off a high stick or a glove. And they're just going to have a face-off off to uh, Trevor Kruger's stick side. Duval comes out to rescue the glove. It was uh, Murray. Is that Duval's glove? Yeah, I guess it was. Face-off left of the swift current goal. Kennedy with Barnes and LeBron now. Duval and Cutowitz the defenseman. Face-off dumped down left of the swift current goal. Behind the net is Lambert. Danny Lambert trying to get it out of his own zone. LeBron takes him on. Almost took him down. Lambert in the right corner. Goes down low. They swing it out to the board. Stolen by the Americans. Barnes out to Kennedy. Kennedy across in front of the goal to LeBron. LeBron down low to Troy Kennedy. Out to Barnes. And it's blocked away out front by the Swift Current Broncos. Now Sim gets in the act, but it's stolen by Tri-Cities. Sheldon Kennedy back out front with it. Kennedy goes to the right side. Down for LeBron, finds Barnes right of the net. Chops it back in the right corner now. To LeBron. Now Trevor Sam, or, uh, Kruger comes out. Spanks it out along the board. Stolen away by the Broncos. Back to neutral ice, but Duval is there. Duval to LeBron. He shoots it in and his glove by Knopp. Knopp bringing it up for Swift Current. Across the blue line and offside is the call against the Broncos as they had a man go in early. Remember, hockey fans, there will be another game in this five-game homestand. This currently is the fourth one. So make sure you get your tickets for Tuesday the 7th. The Portland Winterhawks, the Western Division leading team, comes to the Tri-Cities Coliseum. Game time is 7 o'clock. We go on the air at 645 at Tri-Cities Radio, AM 1340. You can get your tickets at the Coliseum box office from 9 to 7 every day of the week. 4.07 to go in the second period. Face off into the Tri-City zone. Devin Dirksen fires it out the right side to Delcourt. Delcourt tied up there and they'll freeze it right there along the boards to the left of the Tri-City's goal. 3.56 to play, second period. Face-off will come right at the top of the left circle. Boy, Kirk, I'll tell you what, the Americans sure have one heck of a schedule coming up through the month of February. They got all the division teams. If this is Wednesday, it must be Victoria. I know that. <laughs> Face-off left, Rob Krause. Takes it down behind his net, leaves it behind for Dirksen. Dirksen out to Delcourt. Delcourt can't handle the pass, but stolen away by Spinrath. Shot back into the swift current zone, but the Broncos have it. Up the left wing now to Blake Knox. Rennie trying to take him away off the puck. Puck comes loose. Delcourt has it. Delcourt trying to get it low. Comes to Sanderson instead. Jeff Sanderson with a puck. Starts up the left wing boards. Finds Blake Knox. Knox up the left wing. Brings it across the blue line. Tries to sweep it in. Furland kicks it away. Furland gets buried. And the puck taken away by the Americans. Here comes Tri-Cities. Two on two. Delcourt and Rennie. Delcourt up the left wing boards. Now Kraus races into the play. Oh, Kraus just leveled Kruger. 
Bucks out in front of the net. Shot by Delcourt. No, he can't get it away. Crosser's shot. Goes up over the net. Right side. Boy, I tell you what. He just laid Darren Kruger out. Now the puck loose at center ice. Try kicked into the Tri-City zone coming by up. Reeves. Penalty coming up as Kraus. Slashing. Kraus, a one-man wrecking crew all of a sudden. I'll tell you what. He took Darren Kruger down behind the boards, slammed him into the glass, and just let him drip onto the ice. What a hit by Rob Kraus. And then they got Rob Kraus for a slashing call as he came back up the ice. He was on a tear there for a couple seconds, wasn't he? He sure was. 2.53 to go. Second period. Americans and Broncos tied at four. Face off right circle. Tisdale against Rent, against uh, Calvin Nibs. Now Nibs chased out, and in comes Quid Kowski. Linesman drops the puck. Quid Kowski kicks it back to the blue line. Power play, swift current. Shot taken. Back and they score. McFarland will get the goal. Furlan blocked it, but it was backhanded in by McFarland. Shot came from out front. Furlan under a lot of pressure. Dan Lambert took a shot from the left point, and it hit Frank Furlan. The rebound came right out, and as Frank was trying to regroup his legs and put his pads back together, there was Mark McFarland who just did a nice little backhand and caught Frank right there, right as he was bringing his uh, pads together. And Comes Swift to 17-13. Yep, Swift current Broncos take a 5-4 to four lead over the Americans, and I believe that's a power play goal too, Kirk. Yep. And Sheldon Kennedy also getting an assist. Comes to 17-13, six seconds into the power play. Barnes across the blue line. Shoots, rebound, out front, LeBron a shot! Flex twice, three times, and Kruger covers up all three. LeBron hammered it three times into, into uh, Trevor Kruger, and he came up with a save every time. Boy, I tell you, Sean LeBron's got to be a little disgusted on that. He tried every way he could to get that thing past that little red line down there, but Trevor Kruger, playing some amazing goal for Swift Current, stopped at least three shots by Sean LeBron. Well, and they were all right on the ice, and Kruger was sitting down in front of the net. What Sean needed was a nine iron there to get that one up into the corner. He just couldn't get it up off the ice. Barnes facing off with Kennedy and LeBron now. Kozowski for Swift Current. Swift Current zone, left circle. Both of them getting aired out by the linesman. Ooh. He had some words for Peter Kozowski, I'll tell you what. Sheldon Kennedy steps in. Barnes wins the draw, but stepping right in is McFarland. He brings it down quickly for the Broncos. McFarland drops it back right to Kozowski. And they lose it across the blue line as Kozowski taken down by Kutowitz. Back to Kelly Kutowitz. Up the right wing to LeBrun. LeBrun chops it in, but it's stolen by Sheldon Kennedy. Here comes Sheldon. Headman pass. Right side, Kozowski. Drops it back. A shot taken from the slot. Blocked by Furlan. Right out in front of the net. Big shot taken from way out front. That was a tee shot at the blue line, but Furlan made the block. Now to Lambert. Lambert. Dumps it into the Tri-City zone. Duval goes after it. 5-4, Swift Current. Duval taking a hit from Sheldon Kennedy. Drops it out now to LeBron. He fires it around the boards right. Cut off there. Dumping it into the Swift Current zone. Broncos with it. Tisdale losing it to Barnes. Barnes up the left wing. Here comes Barnes with Sheldon Kennedy and LeBron. Barnes up the left wing boards. He fires it in. It's knocked down. Comes all the way around the right wing. Back to neutral ice. Back forward is Tisdale. Tisdale for the Broncos. One on two. Fakes the shot. Let's the puck slide out to the right side. Wheels around at the blue line. Smothered out front by Delcourt. Puck's loose. Goes to the right wing boards. Now Rennie races in after it. Shurstenka for the Americans. Dan Shurstenka firing it back into neutral ice. Broncos there. Kruger. Kruger shoots it back into the Tri-City zone. Furlan will leave it for Rob Krause. Cross behind the net. Rob Krause looks it over. He'll start the breakout play. Krause looks left. He'll bring it out left. Shoots a pass up to neutral ice. Racing back forward is Barrett. Devin Barrett for the Swift Current Bronco. Shoots it in neutral ice. Stolen by Rennie. Rennie with it at the blue line. Dumping it in. But Barrett is there behind his own net. Rennie chases after him. Comes out to the right wing now to Trevor Sim. They dump it back down low one more time. There's a stick loose there. Americans with it. They center it. And Spenrath can't get the shot. Puck went right under his stick. Now Shurstenka there. 
Fires it off the left boards. Back out now to Tisdale. Tisdale across the blue line right side. Races in on Furlan from the right of the net. Tries to wrap around. The Magician's there. They center it. Nobody home. Sackett couldn't get the stick to it. Now Lambert fires it in low. Sackick trying to get to it. They bring it out front. Here's a drive by Barrett. Furlan kicks it away and Spinrath there for the Americans. Spinrath dumps it down low now to Shurstenka. Danny Shurstenka fires it back to neutral ice. It'll go back into the Swift Current Zone as Lambert tied up with Delcourt. Back into the Swift Current Zone and time runs out in the second period with a score. Broncos five, Americans four. We'll be back. Tony out along with Kirk Williamson. Kirk, this is going to be a very exciting third period. It certainly is, Tony. A 5-4 uh, lead for the Swift Current Broncos. The team's coming back on the ice. A couple of uh, scores from the uh, Western League. Have you done these? Huh? Nope. Okay, Saskatoon beating Moose Jaw 12-5. Regina leading Medicine Hat 6-1 after two. Spokane leading Kamloops 2-1 in Spokane after one. Seattle and Victoria tied at two after one. Five to four, our score right now. Tri-Cities Coliseum, Broncos leading. This third period face-off sponsored by Goodyear Certified Auto Service Centers with five convenient locations throughout the Tri-City area. Kirk? And we're getting ready for the face-off. It will be to step into that center circle with referee Mike Revis. It will be Stu Barnes with LeBron and Kennedy against Kimby Daniels with Sim and Sheldon Kennedy. Face-off won by Barnes, but he shoots it right into the swift current zone. Lambert with it. Fires it right now to Kanat. Knocked away by Kutowitz. Puck loose, center ice. Lambert with it now. He loses it. Duval dumps it into the Swift Current Zone. Penalty coming up. Puck goes into the right, and we have a whistle as Duval took a wicked cross check right square in the chops. And he's over to the bench right now, and trainer and goalie coach Jim Craig leaned over the boards there to help him out. Oh, and he certainly did take a huge chop to the, to the face there. Kimby Daniels, a 16-year-old, really tore him up. Well, now they're asking for an intent to injure, and they're going to get it. Jim Craig calling the linesman over. Now, Daniels being, I think Daniels is going to be ejected. Daniels is going to get a match by Kimby. And boy, is he hot. Yep, Kimby Daniels is goodbye and good night, Irene. Let's uh, get the official call. He, Kimby Daniels, five minutes for kicking plus a match penalty at the 16 second mark. Five minute penalty, you know what that means? That means you can score as many times as you can get it in, a, in the net. Comes at the 16 second mark, a match penalty against Daniels, and that will be uh, reviewed by the league office, Murray Duval, apparently is okay. He's back on the ice, but he took a real shot from Daniels. Now somebody from Swift Current will have to serve the penalty, and uh, now they're deciding who that'll be. It'll be Sanderson. A match penalty is extremely difficult because what'll happen now is, Kirk was right, they will reveal it by the league officials. The league will determine how many games that he will have to sit out. Steve Jakes currently on his fourth game suspension for a match penalty he got in Portland. Face-off against uh, Tisdale against Barnes. Swift current zone, right circle. Barnes chops it down behind the net. Spenrath chasing it into the corner. Leaves it low for Barnes. Barnes around behind the net to Kennedy. Troy Kennedy back up front now to LeBrun. LeBrun and Duval at the blue line. Left to LeBrun. He'll play it off the boards to Barnes. Kicked away. Now Barnes starts in on the net. Back up front. Duval goes down, chasing after the net. McFarland racing after it, but Furlan comes out, plays it back to neutral ice. And a two-line pass will be the call. A five-minute match, a five-minute penalty plus the match. A match penalty against Kimby Daniels. Five-minute major plus the match. Now those are very tough penalties. Now, Kimby Daniels, who played in the midgets at Brandon, is, he has... 23 goals, 21 assists for 44 points. He's a little spark plug in that Swift Current lineup. He's going to be probably missed for a little bit. I would think so. Face off, top of the circle, right. Now Tisdale chased out, and in will come Mark McFarland. 
McFarland from Nova Scotia loses the draw to Barnes and LeBron goes back behind the net. Americans with the man advantage. Power play number eight for Tri City as Quit or se seven rather as Kwiatkowski takes it in, dumps it in left of the net. Kruger fires it out off the right wing boards with Duval is there. Duval down low, low to Delcourt. Delcourt into the slot. Ready. Oh! for the Americans. And they're going to have a little bit of a question about this. They're disallowing this goal. Now LeBron there, wearing the assistant captain Bay to uh, argue his case with referee Rebus, but I don't... Well, now Rebus comes out of the referee circle to talk with LeBron, and they apparently have disallowed the goal. That's what they've done. Well, you hear the fans. Let's see if we get an explanation from Tom Lathan. No goal. The puck was directed in with a skate. No goal. Okay. You heard it, folks. Comes with 4.14 remaining in the power play at the 18.58 mark. Take that one off the board. And it will be 5 for Swift Current. Face off just outside the Swift Current blue line. Barnes wins the draw. To LeBron left from Duval. LeBron fires it in behind the net. Kruger's there. Rips it out to the blue line, but Le Duval stops it. Off to the board. Now shot back into neutral ice by Swift Current. Back forward is Duval. Murray Duval goes right side to LeBron. LeBron brings it up for the Americans. LeBron across the blue line. Taken down hard, but he shoots the puck in left of the net. Barnes there. Back up front to LeBron. LeBron a shot. Kennedy couldn't get his stick to it to redirect it. Puck shot down low behind the net now. Barrett goes in after it. We're in early in the third period. Five-minute major penalty against Swift Current. Barnes steals it away, centers it. Pat Kruger out of the net. But the puck knocked loose. Now Swift Current has it. They bang it off the boards back into the Tri-City zone. Oh, boy. Kruger dodged the bullet that time. LeBron just couldn't direct it around the corner. As Duval starts to bring it up the left wing, goes right now to LeBron. He nails a pass left to Barnes. Barnes starts in, beats his man. Barnes, center for Kennedy. It's chopped away, goes to Spinrath. Whistle, penalty. Will go roughing against the Americans, against Troy Kennedy. And oh. Kennedy is going, what are you talking about? Kennedy was tied up around the net by Trevor Kruger, the goalie. Takes the roughing penalty. Comes at the 207 mark. Wipes out the power play. Americans are two of seven on power plays now. It'll be four on four for two minutes. And then there will be a minute nine le left in the second power play. Face off outside the blue line. Joined down the uh, both by Hank Daniels, the uh, <laughs> formerly the or Hank. I'm sorry, Paul Drake. Paul Drake. <laughs> God, give me a break. Face off shot into the right side of the Swift Current zone. The uh, morning what's it for uh, KOTY FM as the puck shot out along the right the right boards back into neutral ice. But Rennie there for the Americans. Rennie shooting it in right of the Swift Current goal. Cougar comes out. He'll leave it there for Lambert. Lambert dumping it into the left corner. Delcourt races after it. Takes it away. Now Delcourt tie it up with Kanaf as the puck comes loose. Here come the Broncos. Sheldon Kennedy into neutral ice. Kennedy across the blue line. Four on four. But offside was Tim Tisdale as they race in on Frank Furlis. Now Duval over to the Tri-Cities bench. Looks like he's getting a couple of stitches taken in that lift by uh, America's trainer Jim Craig, or at least he's getting uh, a little uh, attention to that lift anyway. Maybe a butterfly. Well, it could be. He took a pretty good shot off the skate of uh, Kimby Daniels. And the faceoff will come just outside the blue line. In the, just outside the Tri-Cities blue line. A little bit to Furlan's right. Tisdale against Barnes. Tisdale leading all scorers in the Western Hockey League. Barnes wins the draw. LeBron to Barnes. And Barnes is taken down. We're going to have a fight as Barnes is taken down hard by Lambert. And I 
think we're going to have a penalty. Let's see who gets the penalty. Well, now, Barnes. Nope, they're going to call it outside and call it good. Barnes was taken down by Lambert, and then Lambert just jumped on him. Now LeBron and Barnes go off. On come Rennie and Delcourt with Cutterwitz and Krauss. It's Tisdale and Sheldon Kennedy with Knopf and Kruger for Swift Current. Now Tisdale chased out of the circle. And Sheldon Kennedy wins the draw. Takes it quickly toward the Tri-City zone, but Rennie's there to strip it away. Now Krauss with the puck. Ahead to Delcourt. Puck knocked loose. Sheldon Kennedy with it. Steps around Rennie. Goes left to Kruger. Kruger has to chase it back to his own zone. Now Sheldon Kennedy. cross ice pass to Tisdale. Tisdale still back in his own zone as the Broncos try to break out. They go left to Sheldon Kennedy. Cutowitz takes him off the puck and down as Krauss takes it into the right corner. Headman left Rennie. Three on two. Here comes Rennie. Rennie across the blue line to the right side. Rennie sweeps it down low. Racing it after it is Delcourt. Puck knocked away from him. Up the left side comes Tisdale. Tisdale in a hurry. Up the left wing boards. Tisdale with it. Drop back pass to Sheldon Kennedy. Right across the goal mouth. Right to Knopf. Knopf drops it back to Tisdale. Tim Tisdale in the slot. Goes off to the left side as Krause chases him away. Now Tisdale across the blue line. Has it knocked away by Kutowitz and Krause has it. Krause up the left wing. Wiped out by Tisdale, but Krause dumping it back to the swift current zone. 14 seconds remaining in the penalty to Troy Kennedy. Now Barnes knocks the puck down. Back into neutral ice. Takes it away from Sheldon Kennedy. Here comes Barnes. Barnes starts in. Drops the pass back for Duval, but it's taken away from him by Kozowski. Now Troy Kennedy steps onto the ice. Minute five power play for the Tri-Cities. They're eight. Buck dumped into the Tri-City zone. Back behind the net is Furlan to leave it for LeBron. Here comes LeBron, five on four. American power play, right side Kennedy. Leaves it for LeBron. LeBron centers for Barnes. Barnes will have to play it off the boards. Back up front to Val. Americans on a power play, right to LeBron. LeBron up the right wing. Goes down low for Kennedy. Has to play it off the referee, Rebus. Kennedy with it. Losing it now to Lambert. Lambert firing it back into neutral ice. Back to Furlan. Furlan will play it beside the net for Duval. Duval wheels around. He'll start to bring it up. 29 seconds remaining in the power play. Duval across the blue line. Duval dumping it in. Left of the swift current goal. Now Barnes. Oh, Barnes wheels around and a whistle. A delayed offside call against the Tri-City Americans. And the faceoff will come just outside the Swift Current blue line. 16 seconds remaining in the penalty to Kimby Daniels, who has gone to the locker room. He is not a happy young man. Five to four, Swift Current leading the Americans third period. 16 seconds remaining in the penalty. Kwiatkowski on the faceoff against Kim Tisdale. Tisdale wins the draw, but it's back to Kraus. Kraus firing it in, short hopping the goalie, and Barrett will take it out of there. Now the puck knocked loose by the Americans, shot by Nibs. Going in after it is Rick Fry. Fry down to Kwiatkowski, comes right out in front of the goal. Now to Lambert. Lambert comes up the left wing. Lambert rifles it back into the Tri City zone. Shurstenka takes the rebound, and we have a whistle. Yes. On the faceoff, a couple of shots blocked by the Broncos. Comes back out along the blue line. Now Swift Current back to full strength. They bring it up quickly. Here's Kosowski. Across the blue line, goes to the right to Sackick. Sackick starts in on Furland. Furland comes out to block him. And they take it away. Delayed penalty coming up. And now we're going to have uh, another little scrum as Kwiatkowski. And uh, looks like McFarland go nose to nose. Seems like McFarland's kind of been looking for something to start. Yeah, it does. He's... Uh, He's been real hot. Now Fry comes off the ice. The penalty will be against Rick Fry. It comes at the 5.41 mark. Rick Fry, two minutes for hooking. Here are a couple of scores. Chicago beating Toronto tonight, 3-1. to one. 
Montreal 7-2 over the New York Rangers. That was Guy Lafleur's first appearance in Montreal since uh, becoming a member of the New York Rangers at the beginning of the season. Obviously did not turn out quite the way the flower wanted it to. Now when you talk about a natural hat trick. Three in a row. Three in a row. So in other words, if he had scored uh, one and then somebody else scored one, that's not a natural hat not trick. Not a natural okay. hat trick, I but see. it's uh, still a hat trick. Faceoff goes into the corner right. Potowicz ripping at the length of the ice right over the linesman's head. And back behind his own net goes Trevor Kruger. Kruger, outlet pass intended for Sheldon Kennedy, but McFarland will have it. Now Rennie takes it away from him. Kotowicz, cross ice right to Kraus in his own zone. And Kraus fires it back again. Lambert stops it at the swift current blue line. Sheldon Kennedy ahead to Tisdale. Tim Tisdale up the right wing. Drops a pass off to McFarland. He walks in on front and they score. Oh. Beautiful pass. McFarland out to number 26, Sackick. Swift current. Sackick getting the uh, getting the goal for the Broncos. A power play goal coming at the 6-13 mark. Now and Swift current six, Americans four. That is the fifth power play of the night for Swift Current. Their fourth power play goal. That tell you anything? Yeah. They really move. Yeah, they sure do. 6-4, Broncos lead. That'll uh, take care of the penalty, and the Americans will be back to full strength. Sackick from McFarland. Beautiful pass from McFarland. And uh, Tisdale also getting an assist on that, I believe. Puck shot into the swift current zone, right of the net. Chasing after it is Troy Kennedy, losing it there to Blake Knox. Knox across the blue line left, finds Sheldon Kennedy. Kennedy in slot, his shot blocked by the Americans out front. Dirksen blocking the shot. Now LeBron to Barnes, back to LeBron. LeBron left of the net. LeBron wheels in, centers for Troy Kennedy. Blocked by Kruger. Puck taken out of there by the Broncos. Back out front, top of the slot. LeBron feeds it down low left to Troy Kennedy. Troy Kennedy with the puck. Goes low to Barnes. Barnes with it on his stick. Knopp all over Barnes, but Troy Kennedy is there. TK back up front. Kraus, his shot blocked out front. Now Kruger out of the goal mouth to bat it away for Swift Current. Here comes Sheldon Kennedy. Three on two. Pass left. Blake Knox. Knox will be taken off, but he leaves it for Sheldon Kennedy. His shot blocked. Great by Berlin. And the Americans bring it back. Barnes to LeBrun. Back for it is Lambert. Danny Lambert. Now Barnes with it. Kicks it across the blue line. And we'll have a faceoff at the blue line. Six to four. Swift current leading the Tri-City Americans. Calgary at... Meeting Vancouver 8-5, that's the final. Buffalo over LA, 5-0 in the second. A couple of NHL scores. Milwaukee beating Washington tonight. And New York over Indiana in the NBA. Duval firing it in right of the swift current net on the faceoff. Puck shot back out to neutral ice. Broncos with it, here they come again. Kosowski left side, Ripley. Matt Ripley with it. Fires it inside now to Trevor Sam. Back out front. Rennie bats it away for the Americans. Coming out quickly. Trevor Kruger out of the goal mouth. Plays it back to neutral ice. Duval knocking it down for the Americans. 12 minutes to go. Now Duval fires it in left of the swift current net. Trevor Kruger leaves it down low for brother Darren. Shot back in by the Americans. Racing after it is Spenrath. And it comes out to Duval. Duval to Rennie. Rennie's shot. Blocked out front. Goes into the corner left. Now Spenrath tries to get it back out front to Duval. Or to Delcourt, rather. Spenrath chases in after it. Knocks Kozowski off of it. Comes back up the right wing. Delcourt gets it loose. Out to Duval. Duval shot. Smothered up front. Swift current with it. Here come the Broncos. Quickly up ice with the Americans back for him to take it away. Cannot losing it. At center ice. Spenrath dumping it in left side. Now Delcourt racing behind the net. Puck comes back out into neutral ice. Americans at a shift change. Kraus will chase it down. Kraus goes left to Dan Shurstenka. Shurstenka, head man pass left to Nibs. Calvin Nibs ahead to Fry. Fry a drive. Goes blocked to the right side. Robertson 
Chases after it, but loses it. Lambert bringing it up. Danny Lambert across the blue line. Pulls up, takes a shot. Furlan blocks it out front. Now Fry flips it back to center ice. Racing after it is Lambert. Lambert and Nibs in a foot race. Lambert gets to it first and will have icing against the Americans. We'll be back on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Sheldon Kennedy, incredible skater. Isn't he, though? Oh, I'll tell you what. I wish I could skate like that. Maybe you and I should get Troy to teach us. Yeah, that's he a good idea. He taught Sheldon. <laughs> Barnes against Tisdale. You heard what Sheldon had to say about that. No, yeah. Barnes against Tisdale on the faceoff. One by Barnes. Cutterwitz there. Shoots it up to Troy Kennedy. Kennedy, his pass intercepted by Sackick. Dumped back into the Tri-City zone. Cutterwitz there. Headman to Kennedy. He redirects it. Intended for LeBron. Stolen away by Sackick. And Tisdale skates in. He has it stolen away by Duval. Back to Barnes. Barnes losing it to Tisdale. And a penalty coming up. Oh, my. Incredibly fast pace. And it will be against Swiftford. Against McFarland. McFarland has been carrying his stick pretty high all night. And I've been wondering kind of when he was going to get nailed here. He's also another one of the Swift Current players I'm impressed with in his skating ability. He's very quick down there around the net. Marlin, two minutes for roughing at nine. 10.09 to go in the hockey game. Broncos leading 6-4. Americans on their ninth power play. They are two for eight so far. Broncos four for five. And there's the difference in the hockey game. And that's right exactly there. what they did not want to have happen either. Is that power play advantage. And they got it. Broncos have successfully killed off a five minute major tonight. Buck shot back into the Tri-City zone. Duval with it off the faceoff. Murray Duval behind the net. Starts out the right side. Headman pass goes to Barnes. Here comes Barnes across the red line. Catches up with Spenrath. Steps between the defenders. And they take him right down. Puck smothered. Out front. Right side. Down low to Spenrath. Here's Barnes in the left corner. Stu Barnes back at his favorite place. Goes down low to Spenrath. He whips it all the way around to Kennedy. Back up front to LeBron in the left right point. LeBron. Barnes. Barnes skates in on Kruger. Puck's loose in front of that. And Kruger covers up. Barnes almost had Kruger beaten that time. Yeah, he certainly did. Going in on his uh, left side there, or excuse me, his right side, stick side. And Stu Barnes tried to do a little bit of a push and pull with that puck, but the puck ended up right underneath Trevor Kruger, and he throws it for a faceoff. And it'll come to his stick side, which is a good side, too. Troy Kennedy will be lining up off to Stu Barnes' right side. And if Stu Barnes can win that faceoff, he likes to either punch it back to DeVal or hit it in to Troy Kennedy. On this side, particularly, Kirk. Kennedy on the right hash mark. Now Spinrath comes off and Delcourt goes on. Delcourt getting some last minute instructions from John Oliver. And he'll play the left wing now with Kennedy on the right. Barnes tipping it back to Duval at the blue line. Had to hit it twice. Down to Barnes. They try to get it low to, to Delcourt. Now Barnes with it in the left corner. Stu Barnes starts in, goes down low to Delcourt. Delcourt. Gets it to Troy Kennedy. Kennedy along the boards. Now slap back up to the point. Blocked by Duval. He can't keep it in play. Duval goes cross ice left to Barnes. Now Barnes starts in. Steps around Lambert. Barnes goes right to LeBron. LeBron down low. Kennedy plays it off the boards. Troy Kennedy in the corner. Hook taken down by Brother Sheldon. Thank you very much. Now Del Court taken down by, by Kruger. And the puck's down low. Goes around to Barnes. Barnes wrapping around. Shoots it out in the slot. Sheldon Kennedy knocks it down. And Brother Troy takes him down. And the puck back into neutral ice. Furlan back in his own zone, leaving it for Duval. Outlet pass to Barnes. Barnes comes across the blue line. Barnes with it. Drops it for Duval. He fires it in left of the net. Comes back out to the blue line. Tisdale all over it. 20 seconds left in the penalty. Tisdale a drive, and Furlan makes the glove save. The magician takes a couple of steps, feeds it out to the left board to head to Barnes. Barnes taking it down low to, to Nibs and Nibs. It goes in. I think Nibs is going to get it. Well, let's see. They lit the lamp. And I can't tell if the puck went in or not. Tony, can you? No, I think it was frozen up. I think Trevor Kruger's got the puck in his glove. 
Let's see him open up his glove right now. And I'm not sure, and we're gonna have Greg Del Court go to the penalty box. There's been a penalty called on this as well. Roughing apparently the indication. And Dan Lambert for Swift Current will also go in and sit down. So the Americans still have five seconds of power play left. And I think it was a, a miss light down there as far as the goal goes, because I believe Trevor Kruger had covered that puck up. Apparently so, they're not putting it on the board. I don't. I didn't think Nibs could get to it to, to knock it in. Face off, right circle. Lambert and, and Delcourt, two minutes each for roughing. 8-14 remaining in the hockey game. 6-4, Swift Current leading. Rennie with Fry and Nibs now. Rennie winning it. Fry takes a swipe at it. Won't do it. Back to neutral ice. Penalty's over. The Americans race back for it. Dirksen. Dirksen and Kraus, the defenseman for the Americans now. Dirksen fires right to Kraus. Kraus starts up. Goes left to Devin Dirksen. Dirksen up the left wing. Dirksen ahead for Nibs. Buck knocked away by the Broncos. Knocked back in by Dirksen. Pretty quick stick, does Devin Dirksen. Buck shot. Oh, a shot by Fry. Blocked by Kruger. Big shot by Fry from right out front. Now Rennie and Fry chase after the puck with Kruger. This is Darren Kruger. Cross ice right. Cut off. Back to neutral ice. Back forward is Dirksen. Dirksen in his own zone. Wheels back. Comes up the left side now. Dirksen ahead to Nibs. Here comes Calvin Nibs up the left wing. Dumps it into the right side. Kwiatkowski races after it. Taking it off his stick is Rennie. Rennie centers for Nibs. Nibs taken off the play. Into the right corner it goes. Back to neutral ice. Krauss will race back for it for the Americans. Rob Krauss. Wheels away from Trevor Sim. Krauss in front of his own net. That drives Furlan nuts. Headman pass to Robertson now. Robertson gets it ahead to Spinrath. Kicked away by Knopf. Back out along the left wing. Spinrath trying to chop it back in. Goes to Robertson. Robertson ahead to Spinrath. Spinrath's drive is put up into the crowd. Boy, that was a bullet up into section UU. Right up over the entranceway. Sure was. Crowd's really got to get behind the Americans right now. This is one thing that uh, the people that have come up to the booth, especially Peter Soberlack said during the intermission, says the crowd here is just incredible. And as far as them being involved in this game, right now is a good time for them to start. Yeah, it sure is. Edmonton, I was looking at the Edmonton draft pick. Edmonton has Kisdale, Trevor Sim, and Soberlack, a first round pick. That bodes fairly well for the Oilers. Oh, they were, he was talking about that, too. He's a real excited to go up with that organization. Well, and Sheldon Kennedy, of course, just signed with Detroit, a third-round pick. And uh, Bob Wilkie, a second-round pick of Detroit. On the faceoff, shot blocked by the Swift Current goalie. Broncos have it in center ice. Right side, Barrett. Barrett firing it in right of the Tri-Cities net. Back for it is Duval. Plays it along the board. Stolen away by Blake Knox. Underneath low it goes. Now Kutowitz with it. Kelly Kutowitz trying to wheel away from Sanderson. Up the left wing now to LeBron. He fires it back around as the Americans try to break it out of their own zone. Duval with it. Duval cross ice left. LeBron. LeBron right on Barnes' stick across the blue line. Barnes with it out at the right wing. Finds Duval racing in. Duval a shot. Blocked out front. Down low it goes. Kruger. Darren Kruger. Barnes chasing the puck out to the blue line. But Sheldon Kennedy there to slap it away. Shift change Broncos. Americans up the left wing. They get it to LeBrun. Barnes trying to take it away from Barrett along the left wing boards. Now Cutterwitz takes his man down. McFarland. And the puck still tied up along the boards. Barnes now it's taken off his stick by Barrett. Barrett pasted by Cutterwitz. Racing it after it is Sackick. Brian Sackick in the right side, but LeBron back for the puck. As Sackick has it taken off a of LeBron stick by McFarland. Now Tisdale with it. Tries to get it up to Sackick. Taken away by the Americans. LeBron whipping it around behind the net on the right wing to Kennedy. Cross ice left intended for Barnes. Barnes, he can't get to it. Now Kraus there, but it's taken away from him by Sackick. In the slot, Swift Current, and Barnes is there to take it off McFarland's stick. Shot back to neutral ice. Drive backhanding it for the Swift Current goal, but the Broncos are there. Barrett firing it in right at the Tri-Cities net. 
Berlin leaving it for Kotowitz. Kelly Kotowitz back behind his own net now. Looks right, and he'll bring it out. The right side. Whoops! Over skated. Big time giveaway, but Kraus tried to get it away. No, Tisdale has it right out front. A shot. Blocked. Berlin blocked it. Scores. And they score, but Tisdale. Tisdale getting the score off of McFarland. McFarland, I believe, will get one assist. He may get the only one. Yeah. As Kraus gave up the puck, a little bit of sloppy puck handling there for the Americans. And that's what happens, Kirk. And they're down in that zone, and the great forechecking by the Swift Current Broncos, and it enabled a turnover down in the zone, and that allowed uh, Mark McFarland to take a shot from the point, hit Frank Furlan. Frank Furlan blocked it out right in front, and there's Tim Tisdale. And that, I believe, is his 50th goal of the season. Comes at 15-13. Broncos with it. They fired in right of the Tri-Cities net. I'll tell you what, the 6,000-plus fans here tonight have really seen a hockey game. Mm -hmm. Puck loose behind the Americans' net. Duval with it. Right side. Outlet pass goes to Fly. Cross ice. Intended for Nibs. Almost stolen away, but Nibs has it. Dumps it into the swift current zone. Nibs upended there by Reeves. Puck goes in around to the right wing. Duval kicks it back into play, but it goes shot back by swift current. Into the Tri-City zone. Shurstenka carries the puck behind his own net. Now brings it out. Dan Shurstenka. Throws it right side now to Fry. Fry cross ice left. Nibs. Nibs across the blue line center for Rennie. Rennie chased off the puck by Lambert. And it goes down low. Nibs getting it. No, Lambert takes it away from him. Danny Lambert brings it up the right side. The skating fire plug across the right wing. Puts a neat move on into the slot. A shot. Berlin makes the gloves. No, it's kicked away into the right corner. Going after it is Nibs. Down to Kennedy. And a penalty coming up against the Americans. It's going to get a little sloppy here yep, late in the game. That's what's happening. The sloppiness is uh, finally showing up. But I want to tell you something. Number three, Dan Lambert, the way he came in on Frank Furlan right there, he basically handled that. He went coast to coast on that one. And I'm he's a defenseman. Incredibly good. Incredibly quick, isn't he? Oh, I, I was watching him. I was trying to keep up with him. He's got some great feet. Ooh. Nibs gets two minutes for roughing. Well, the Broncos beat the Americans 6-2 the last time they played at Swift Current back in October on the 21st of October, second to the last game of that long road swing. Now Delcourt chased out of the faceoff circle. It'll be Spenrath against Tisdale. Face off one by Spenrath, but it's right back to the Broncos. Sheldon Kennedy out at the blue line. Kennedy slides it down in behind the Tri-Cities net right side. Out to the point, Kruger. Darren Kruger down to Tisdale. Back to Darren Kruger. Right side to Sheldon Kennedy. He goes left now to Tisdale. Back up to Kruger. Kruger shot. Slap loose. Furlan goes down. They try to shoot it in, and it won't go. Furlan. Furlan sticks broken. Stick is broken completely in half. Now the referee calls a slashing penalty against Kraus. Berlin down there playing with half a stick as Del Court goes over to get him a new one. And this is not good because now this allows the Swift Current Broncos a five on three for a minute and 36 seconds. Yep. That's like putting a little salt on the wound, you know? Yeah, let's see. Is it Kraus that's going to go over and have a seat next to Calvin Nip? Well, that stick is just flat busted in half, right above the fat part of the goalie stick. You know, they may have it against Frank Furlan down there, and that may be the reason that his stick was busted in half. I see Greg Delcourt coming over to serve the penalty. Let's listen uh, from Tom Leith. To number one, Frank Furlan, two minutes for slashing, served by number 10, Greg Delcourt at 16.38. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, when you get slashed with the goalie stick hard enough to break that big old handle, you done been slashed. That's right. Kraus on the faceoff into the corner with it. Comes out to Cutowitz. Cutowitz for the Americans. Neutral ice. That's the best thing to happen on a five on three. Now they fired in right of the net. Kruger with it. Shoots it around to Sheldon Kennedy. Kennedy stolen away from him by Rennie. Rennie in the slot. Just almost overskated it. And Tisdale has to take it back. Tisdale takes the pass. Right wing. Tim Tisdale. Broncos lead, 7-4. Under three minutes to play at the blue line. Stolen away again by Rennie. Rennie backhanding it back into neutral ice. And racing back for it is Kruger. 
They have a new puck for the Americans without that big white circle on it. Still has the white Western Hockey League uh, logo, but without that big white circle, it made it blend in so easily with the ice. Right side, Kennedy. Sheldon Kennedy back up front, Tisdale. He goes left. Kruger. Kruger starts in on Furlan, and it's blocked there, and Kruger and Furlan covers it up. Benrath down there doing a little bit of pushing and uh, exercising some muscle. And that was a great save by Frank Furlan, by the way. Along with Trout. Let's see who's in front. Oh, number 18, McFarland. McFarland found himself between Kraus and Spenrath. That'd be not a real comfortable place to be. Well, it's Furlan's penalty being served by uh, Delcourt. Face off, right circle, Tri-City zone. Tisdale against Spenrat. Spenner wins it. Kraus back behind his own net. Tries to race out of there. Kraus up the right wing now. Slips it back into neutral ice. But the, and the Broncos stop it there. You know, Kirk, I was told uh, before the broadcast that Mark McFarlane was their toughest player they have on this Swift current team. He's got over 213 penalty minutes. That's not too bad for a uh, right winger. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah. That's, that's uh, considered tough, I think. This is a weird team. I mean, they got defensemen that skate like Danny Lambert. They got a right winger that leads the team in penalties. And they're 41 wins, almost 42 wins. 7-4, Swift Current leading the Tri-City Americans. Face off just outside the American zone. Five on three for another half minute. Here comes Trevor Sim. Sim to the right side. Drops it back now to Sheldon Kennedy. Kennedy up to Lambert. Lambert, a big drive. Berlin blocks it, and Penrath drops it back to neutral ice. And they got Sanderson caught in there around the net. Sanderson took an extra poke from Berlin and Krause. As Sheldon Kennedy works it in right side to Kozowski. Kozowski back up front. Sheldon Kennedy to left to Lambert. Lambert takes it down low now to Trevor Sim. Back up front to Lambert, and he loses it. At the blue line, back to neutral ice. And Nib steps back on the ice for the Americans. Now it's five on four. 20 seconds left in the penalty to Furland. Sheldon Kennedy brings it up. Headman pass right to Trevor Kruger. Ooh, he takes a vicious hit from Nibs. Penalty coming up. Nibs touches it, and I think Nibs may go right back in the penalty box. And that's exactly what's going on. Calvin Nibs steps right off the ice, goes out, gets himself another penalty, and he's doing some serious John with Mike Rivas, the referee. And Nibs gets to sit down and finish out pretty much the rest of this game. Yeah, minute 33 remaining in the in the game. 11 seconds remaining in the slashing penalty to Furland. Two minutes, the penalty to Nibs, so the game will end on a power play. Broncos now, this must be their seventh power play of the night, so they are four for six now. Face off, won by the Americans. Shurstenka fires it into neutral ice. 7-4, Swift Current leading Tri-City. I'll tell you what, folks, you have seen some kind of a hockey exhibition tonight. The left side, Kruger. Kruger ahead to Kanop. Kanop goes right side to Kozowski. Kozowski across the blue line, drops it back at the blue line to Kruger. They get it right in front of the net. They shoot, and Furlan digs it out of the air. Uses that stick like a baseball bat, slaps it the length of the ice. When it's 30 feet in the air, it can't hurt you much, Frank. Back it goes to Knopp. Knopp shoots it ahead along the boards, and Rennie is there along the left wing. Back to Kutowitz. Kutowitz blasts it back to neutral ice. Minute, the uh, 46 seconds remaining in the game. Knopp with it. Back in his own zone. Kevin Knopp. Outlet pass goes left to Kruger. Kruger has it slapped away by Delcourt, but here's Sheldon Kennedy across the blue line. Kennedy in the slot. Fans at the puck. And the Americans steal it back. Delcourt up the left wing. Delcourt, seven seconds remaining. Drops it back for Dirksen. And the Broncos are there to break it up again. Comes ahead to Trevor Sim. Sim goes left. Sheldon Kennedy. Has that guy got jets or what? Incredible. Sheldon Kennedy across the slot. Wheels around his own zone. Ten seconds to go. No big hurry there. Now Sheldon starts out left. Goes left to Lambert. 
three seconds to Lambert at center ice. Lambert pulls up short and the gun sounds. To end the hockey game, the Broncos win it 7-4 over the Tri-City Americans. Next action for the Americans coming up on Tuesday night here at Tri-Cities Coliseum. The Portland Winterhawks in town for the last game of that a uh, five-game homestand. Seven for Broncos. Back with the post-game show, and our uh, penalty box guest will be Jason Dunham. Coming up on this Tri-Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Ruff's Giant Burgers. Ruff's is not your ordinary fast food restaurant. As a matter of fact, nothing about Ruff's is ordinary. 100% all ground beef from the leanest choice cuts. Stacked with the highest quality mayonnaise, relish, pickles, onions, three slices of tomato. Topped with a five and a half inch sesame seed bun. The biggest, the best, the rough giant burger. Ruff's now at two locations on Clearwater and Kennewick and 1504 West Lewis and Pasco. Get ready, Tri-Cities. It's the second annual March of Dimes Gourmet Gala, Saturday, February 11th at the Hanford House. You won't want to miss this formal dining affair featuring celebrity chefs cooking in six designer kitchens while we all get to mingle. Last year, we had Ann Jeffries, Margaret O'Brien, and June Wilkinson, and this year, have we got a surprise for you. The Gourmet Gala. Tickets available at the March of Dimes office, 943-2660, and all proceeds to fight birth defects. We'll see you there, the Gourmet Gala. Carrick Glasses introduces Neon Ultra Lights, the new sport glasses, bright neon colors, European made and styled. Ultralight nylon frames, polycarbonate lenses for maximum protection against UV and blue light without color distortion. They cut glare and infrared. And there's more. A one-year replacement guarantee against breaking and loss. That's right, against loss. Call now to order for just $39.95 at 1-800-289-3995. Or send $39.95 plus postage and handling to Carry Glasses. Box 2742-548, Palm Springs, California, 92263. Call now, 1-800-289-3995. New and uh, every time you do that, you uh, pay the price just a little bit. I'm Kirk Williamson along with Frank Furlan now on our post game show. And uh, Frank, that must have been like sort of like watching Portland in high gear tonight. Well, Swift Current Broncos, I mean, they're the, easily the best team in, in the Western Hockey League. And you know, if, if you've looked at uh, CHL statistics, they're the best team in, in Canada. And uh, as far as, as far as being like the Winterhawks, I don't think so. I mean, they have a great defense, uh, Swift Current. They have a uh, just a marvelous offense, and uh, Portland's got the offense, but they can't match Swift Current in the defense department. So I noticed that uh, Danny Lambert, for example, is a, a tremendous skater. Uh, he came in on you, made a couple of nice moves there to bring the puck in uh, in on you, and they made a great pass on that last goal. Uh, I mean, Lambert is phenomenal. He's the guy that broke our shutout at the All-Star game. He did the same move. He just walked through the entire team and came in all alone and uh, used the screen and took a shot on me in the All-Star game and scored for their only goal. And I mean, uh, you put him against guys who aren't all All-Stars and he even looks better than, than life. And I mean, Swift Current is a team that's full of talent. I mean, John told us before the game, uh, people have told us everywhere. And, you know, the facts are facts. They're a great hockey club. They've got an excellent coach, and they, they use their talent to, to their advantage. They don't try and hinder their, their offensive players by uh, making them play too much defense. I mean, Swift Current gave up four goals. That's fine for them because they'll put in seven or eight every game. I mean, they don't worry about that end of the spectrum. Like you said, they have Lambert back there. Kruger's an excellent defenseman. And, and I mean, uh, Trevor Kruger in goal is not exactly too bad either. So they have a pretty well-balanced team, and I'd have to look for them to be a, a favorite in Memorial Cup time. Frank, did you uh, expect to wind up on the ice tonight? Uh, I know Ole got the start. Well, I mean, me and Ole have to chuckle about what's going on. I mean... It, it was painfully obvious the team came out flat. Oh, you know, it's it's tough for a goalie. You like to get a couple first shots in, get yourself into the game. Well, gee, Ole faced a breakaway to start and then another breakaway. And, I mean, they took four excellent shots and they got four excellent goals. 
I mean, there's nothing you can say about it. We just kind of smile at each other now. I mean, first it was me against Prince Albert. Same situation. Four excellent shots, four goals. And, and the same thing happened here tonight. And there's nothing you can do about it as a goalie. You know, I hope Ole doesn't take it the wrong way. I know I didn't. I just kind of let it fall off my back. But it's something that it plays on your confidence getting yanked out. And you know, there's nothing you can do. I mean, Ole stopped a great breakaway and still, you know, gets out of the net. I, I don't know if it helped any or not. I remember earlier in the season when we played uh, Brandon and Brandon came out and scored three quick goals like that and after the first period and then all of a sudden they couldn't get any. It was the same goalie in there it's just they didn't get any. So I don't know if polling really helps. I think it's the coach's attempt to try and jolt the team and I've in all my years in hockey I've never seen it work it, except for that very rare occasion such as Prince Albert. I think it, it was a good move in that situation but I, I hope he doesn't consider using this as a tactic against other teams because uh, he's going to have two very unhappy goalkeepers. What is it that uh, causes a team to come out uh, flat in that, that kind of situation, uh, especially against a team uh, like uh, Swift Current that you would think would have everybody jacked up? Well, you have to look at it from a uh, point of view of some of the guys on our team. Now, you've just got out of midget hockey and you've watched, your, your parents have been watching you for the last 10 years play hockey in a rink that's maybe at best got maybe 2,000 people in it. All right, they, you come down the Tri-Cities, you got a rink that's full every night, and for the first two months, you're on such a high, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you get to the point where, you know, hey, you've seen this all over again every night. And then the crowd's not there. It doesn't matter if there's a million people in the stands. It doesn't do it for you. You know, hockey's a game where it's got to be within yourself to go out and play hard and, and play with emotion. You can't depend on the people in the stands because... You know, like all sorts of highs, they all wear off. The only high that never wears off is the one that you create within yourself. And that's what's happening with our team. I mean, we win two games in a row and we come out flat against Prince Albert. Now, you know, John said it to us in the dressing room prior to the game. One of the most important games of the year. And we come out flat. I mean, that, all that's saying is the crowd's not doing it. And I mean, that was a great crowd, as well as tonight. I mean, you can't beat our Saturday night crowds anywhere in the ring, anywhere in the league. And we still came out flat in the first period. So, hey, it's one of those things where you come crashing down. Same thing with goaltenders. And I speak from experience. That's how come I can give a pretty fair analysis of what's happening. It uh, has happened before, I take it. Well, sure. I mean, it, especially with goalies, you get on a high. Like, Ole got on a roll, especially after that Portland game. Remember, Ole played very, very well in that Portland game. And then all of a sudden, he came back to life and didn't have such a hot game against Seattle. Nothing against Ole, but it just shows you what happens when you get on a high. You always come crashing back down to earth. And it's the, it's the team and the players and the individuals who can keep on an even keel throughout the entire season. Those are the players that are going to be successful in the end. That's what Swift Current can do. They don't get down. They've just lost most of their games in the West Coast swing. And I don't think it showed tonight. I mean, obviously, we didn't come out and play well. But they just stuck to their game and did their job and left the rink. And that's what hockey's all about. You go out and you do your job and you leave the rink. Anybody uh, that you've seen, Frank, uh, skate as fast as, as this team does to all over the whole team, but I'm thinking of Sheldon Kennedy, for example, and, and uh, uh, Lambert, who showed some real speed, too. Well, you know, like you said, over the whole team. You know, Portland's got the line with Holland on it, just phenomenal. Yeah. But uh, this team, you know, defense out. They all skate just amazing. And, and I, don't, I don't think it's their speed as much as their ability to pass the puck. I think the Tri-Cities Americans can keep up with them skating-wise. You know, there's the odd player on our team who might fall behind against, tri against Swift Current. But I don't think we lack anything except for passing. I, did the first period, the majority of the goals they scored were a result of fine, precise passing. That's all there was. They don't bobble the puck. They pass it crisp and quickly. And that's the key to hockey, moving the puck, getting your opposition to scramble around. And that's what they had us doing in the first period, and it resulted in a 4 nothing lead. Frank Furlan, our guest on the postgame show, and we'll be back in one minute on this Tri-Cities Radio, Americans Hockey Broadcast. 
Get ready, Tri-Cities. It's the second annual March of Dimes Gourmet Gala, Saturday, February 11th at the Hanford House. You won't want to miss this formal dining affair featuring celebrity chefs cooking in six designer kitchens while we all get to mingle. Last year, we had Ann Jeffries, Margaret O'Brien, and June Wilkinson. And this year, have we got a surprise for you. The Gourmet Gala. Tickets available at the March of Dimes office, 943-2660, and all proceeds to fight birth defects. We'll see you there, the Gourmet Gala. Roberto Duran brought Hagler to a standstill. Now he's back to challenge a new middleweight champion, Iran the Blade Barkley. Barkley sees the WBC title with a spectacular knockout of Thomas Hearns. Barkley's dream is to avenge the defeat of his friend, Baby Moore, by Duran. The undercard of the WBC middleweight championship will feature the professional debut of four Olympic medalists. Top Rank presents this special pay-per-view event live February 24th at 9 p.m. Eastern. To order, contact your cable system. Back at Tri-Cities Coliseum, I'm Kirk Williamson along with Troy Kennedy. And Troy, that was uh, one of the fastest played hockey games I've seen in a long time. That was something. Yeah, well, Swift Corner, that's their style of play. You know, they got a lot of fast skaters. They're really good with the puck. Their whole team plays that way, you know, and they're not a bunch of muckers and grinders. You know, they, they go good in the corners, but, you know, we came out and we sort of got into playing their game with them. And I guess we, you know, we got to come out and play our game to, to beat them. You feel like the guys were... Uh, pumped up before the game uh, you feel like maybe a little flat I thought before the game in the dressing room, everybody seemed you know ready for the game everybody's pumped up the adrenaline was flowing and we came out and they got a couple of quick ones on us which kind of took a little out of us and I think uh, Greg's Greg's goal is our first one uh, you know got got a little bit of the guy got the guys a little bit more into the game and uh, you know got the adrenaline flowing in the right places and after that we came back pretty good and then we sort of went dead at the end well, you got the hat trick. Uh, congratulations on that uh, that hat trick, a natural hat trick with three in a row. But it looked there for a minute like they were going to take that one away from. You. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's what um, they were saying up here. After I, I didn't really even realize it. You know, I just saw the puck go in the net, so we started to celebrate. But I definitely give that up for two points tonight. That's for sure. The you and uh, brother Sheldon did spend a fair amount of time on the ice and uh, together. I noticed you exchanged a couple of pretty good shots there over in, in the corner that one time. Yeah, we, you know, you get out there against him and he's just like anybody else, I guess, but he is your brother and, you know, you had those little arguments and stuff when you were younger and you go out there and you see him in the corner and you, you want to give it to him a little bit, I guess, and he feels the same way about me, so, you know, you get together and sticks get swing a little bit or, or you hit the guy a little extra hard. And he told us he could, you guys could get away with that since your mom's not here to watch. Yeah, she's probably back home. I don't know if she can get it on the Swift Current has it on the radio. I'm not sure if yeah. she could. Then she'd be sitting on her hands at home. But when she's at the games watching, she's sitting on her hands, and you know she doesn't really know which way to go. She cheers for the team that wins, I guess. Troy Kennedy, our guest on the post-game show, and we'll be back with Coach John Oliver in one minute on this Tri Cities Radio Americans Hockey Broadcast. Carrot Glasses introduces neon ultra lights, the new sport glasses, bright neon colors, European made and styled. Nylon frames, polycarbonate lenses for maximum protection against UV and blue light without color distortion. They cut glare and infrared. And there's more. A one-year replacement guarantee against breaking and loss. That's right, against loss. Call now to order for just $39.95 at 1-800-289-3995. Or send $39.95 plus postage and handling to Carry Glasses. Box 2742-548, Palm Springs, California, 92263. Call now, 1-800-289-3995. Back with Tri-City Americans coach John Oliver and uh, John, that was a tough game to lose. Uh, the Americans looked like they wanted to get out and play racehorse hockey with the Broncos and that's not what you wanted them to do. No, it sure wasn't. We wanted to play a tight checking style of hockey and uh, try to keep the goals against down against them. We didn't want to get in a shootout and of course Swift Current got that goal uh, less than a minute into the yeah. period and I thought that that set the tone early and uh, got us back on our heels and uh, I thought really started off on the wrong foot and, and I thought sent the tempo for the first period where we were really 
felt like we were kind of hanging on for dear life that first period. Yeah, it's got to kind of feel a little bit like getting a bobcat by the tail, doesn't it? Well, they're a heck of a hockey team. They, sh they really are. And uh, we just uh, got down early against them, bang, bang, right off the bat. And now we're trying to play catch up where you have to open it up a little bit. And that's not something you want to do against this team because uh, when you when you open it up, you you uh, leave your defense open, and uh, and they had far too many good opportunities for my liking tonight. You uh, pulled Olaf Kolzig in the in the first period, brought Frank Furlan in. Uh, that's always a tough decision to make uh, to or when to pull a goalie. Yeah, it's not something that we like to do. Obviously, for one thing, if we're pulling them, uh, we're usually going to be losing and. Uh, and uh, it does, no matter what the circumstances, it has a tendency to hurt the goaltender's confidence. Um, it certainly wasn't the purpose, but they they've got a couple goals by him early that really he had no chance on whatsoever. Uh, by the time they scored the fourth one, he actually, I thought, had lost his concentration because the fourth goal was really an easy goal. Uh, Ole would normally stop that one. and. As well, so when you when you make a change, it has a tendency sometimes to settle a team for it kind of like a fresh start, so to speak. And I thought after we made the goaltending change, we did obviously came back, tied the score. And once we tied it, I really thought even though we hadn't played our best, we'd had an opportunity to get back in the game. I thought we were in pretty good shape, but Swift Current obviously uh, wasn't finished, and they came back and and uh, took it to us in the third period. You have to worry a little bit about these two losses, Prince Albert and Swift Current, uh, causing a loss of confidence, not just in the goaltenders, but all over the team. And that's not something you want to happen before you have to play Portland and Victoria back to back. No, but we're conf we've played those teams enough that we know what to expect. And uh, I can't help but feel a little bit that we were a little bit in awe tonight of Swift Current, their record and uh, the things that they've accomplished so far this year. And, uh, we we're a little bit uptight, you know, right off the first goal. It was a giveaway and it was, you know, it looked like we were just a little bit uptight and I think it affected us early and had an effect on the game. But really, probably the biggest thing tonight was Swift Current's power play. Uh, five goals and uh, they scored three. I might have scored the first three times they had it in the first period. And really, I thought we did not a bad job defending it, to be quite honest with you. Some nights uh, you get scored on. Uh, it's because we didn't execute, but I thought tonight uh, they just did a heck of a job. They shot the puck, we had it defended, they shot it, and the puck just seemed to dribble right onto somebody's stick in the slot. And then on the one goal in the first period, Lambert and I think Tisdale combined for just a, you know, just a, as great a play as you'll see on a power play, just a bang, bang, give and go, and two great hockey players. So. Um, their power play was devastating tonight, and, and it really, uh, really had a big effect on the outcome of tonight's game. Tri City Americans coach John Oliver on our post game show. Again, the final score Swift Current Broncos winning it 7 4 over the Tri City Americans. Next Americans action on Tuesday night against the Portland Winterhawks here in the Tri Cities Coliseum. That wraps it up on the Tri Cities Radio Americans hockey broadcast.